I don't care. We need to one nil. If we keep down, thirteenth in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when when have we got leads? Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. Good morning to you all. Crowd is there. Here we go. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Get your comments in and, of course, hit that notification bell. Hope you're all doing well this morning. Listen, I've been nervous. I've been nervous all day, right? A little bit apprehensive about this fixture. Then I've just seen the lineup. I knew that that was the lineup because I didn't have to change. But actually seeing it in black and white on Leeds United Twitter, I went, yeah, these are getting bashed. These are getting smashed up. I'm not, it's gone. It's gone. Any, uh, genuinely, any sort of nerves have gone. They're getting, they're getting bashed up. Um, look, Huddersfield, they've been good of late. Six out of eight undefeated. But seeing the lineup, seeing Rutter back in there, seeing Gruev back in midfield, Gray back at right back, just everybody in their positions, Bamford up top, I'm like, yeah, nah, you have no reason to be nervous, Joe, getting smashed, I was, I was apprehensive, I said 2-1 yesterday, and now I'm thinking 3 or 4-1, I think they will score, if they score first, maybe then my attitude will change, but exactly, Joe Senior has hit the money, he said George has had a week off, he's going to cook, I agree, we're talking Gordon Ramsay, Marco Pierre White levels, you know, this is what he's going to serve up for us, I believe this, you know, don't forget as well, right? Today, there's not going to be an instant live post-match reaction. That's not going to be till 5 o'clock. Because what we're going to do straight after this, we're going to jump on over to the 3 p.m.s. We're going to do Soccer Saturday, yeah? We're going to do Soccer Saturday, so we're going to follow them games as well. Um, so make sure you're locked in. Can I just ask, while I stop talking, can you hear my TV? Let me know if you can hear that TV, because I need to know if I want to turn it down. I don't have to wear headphones anymore, because I don't think this mic will pick it up. So that might be all right. Yes, you can hear the TV. Was that, yes, you can hear the TV? I'll turn it down a touch. No, you couldn't. Perfect. Right, we're sorted then. That just means that I don't... Yeah, perfect, man. This mic only picks up here, right? So I can. I don't have to wear my headphones now. Because I've noticed every time it's gone, I'm having to take them off. Whereas then I don't have to take them off. Um... Yeah, exactly, Joe. My TV's loud as well, like Cody Gakpo and that. I can hear it, but no one can hear it because it just picks up me. My dog's down here chewing his bones, dog's snoring. Normally, we have to go, yo, come on, dog's getting out. That's all you can hear. So the mic's to another level. Big up to Cod, big up to Dan Moylan as well for hooking me up with the interface. Uh, big up to Steve as well. Um, big up to my man, Stevie Easy Peasy, who you can see in the chat, in, in the chat, in the chat. Uh, listen, folks. The guy, uh, this is Stevie Easy Peasy, has hooked me up with the virtual radio. Um, I'm talking it's next level. We're talking Sky Glass. We're talking, you know, all the movies you can shake a stick at. We're talking all the streams you can take, shake a stick at. Now, what I want you to do, if that's something that interests you, and I mean they're top notch. Like, I'm not even lying. Proper box. It's just like having my Sky, but not 140 quid. Um, so, yeah, I'd love to get it here, but the, the, the thing, but... Listen, you need to get hooked up. This isn't no sponsorship stuff or anything like that either. This is just Steve gave it me as a gift so that I wasn't behind on the streams. But you're going to get yourself one of these, everything, just like a Skybox. Genuinely, it's on here. Ultra HD, the lot, shebang. Love it. So grateful for it. And it's on there. Um, so, yeah, look, Stevie, easy peasy. Just go on Facebook, LUFC Lee. LUFC Lee. It's a picture of a cat. Go on there. You're good. Um, and if you need hooking up with that, I'll share my screen so you can see because uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, so, you know, uh, that's the cat. Go on there. Get your boxes hooked up. Nice. Honestly, it's brilliant. I can't lie. Uh, big up to Misha. Where do we get it, Joe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so there where I've just shown you, Brendan. No worries, Steve. Uh, Brendan says he'll have one. You're going to get all the games, everything. Honestly, the class. Um, I'd love to. Sh I wish I could show you the box, but it's plugged in. Um but it's like a little hexagon shape. Get a remote and that, bang. Um, yeah, Dave, I, I, I don't know. Listen, Tom, speak to speak speak to Steve on the price, mate. Um, but yeah, can hook you up. It's gonna listen. I was paying one hundred and forty pound a month on Sky. 
I know it ain't costing £140 a month. Um, yeah, the mic moves around because we're a little bit anim animated. But, you know, when people come on and they ask me, where's the stream, where you got this, where you got that, it's all there. Boom, done. Um, so big up. Um, yeah, you can do that. Oh, there's what? One second. What? How do I do that? Is there really that? Where I can do it so I can have both games on? Well, there you go. Look at that. Boom. There you go for the year. Um, so get hooked up. Just put in Facebook LEFC Lee. Um, I tell you what, if I if I copy that, wait there. Let me just let me try this. His Facebook account doesn't allow new messages. You might have to adjust that, uh, Stevie. Um, how do I do that? Tell me how you do that. So that means I can have. Ipswich, Southampton, I can have them on. Someone someone, tell me how to do that. Um, that link there that I've just posted in the chat should get you there. Should get you there, folks. Um, uh, I'm not too sure. Anyway, that's that's LUFC Lee. Just hook you up, radio and all that sort of jazz if you want to get amongst it. Uh, while, we do, while we are discussing that, folks, let me just remind you of uh, today's uh, sponsors. Um, I'll have to try figure out the multi-screen thing. Um, that's what I'm saying, Shawnee boy. I was paying £140, bro. £140. Honestly, mate, I'm not... I wouldn't cap you. They're brilliant. It is just like having Sky, but then you're going to get all the movies on top and everything, you know what I mean? Like the Bob Marley movies on there and everything already. Um, so there you go. Make sure you check it out. Um, there are... Um, let me just... Let me just share this screen as well. Uh, today's sponsor is, of course, staying with us for another month. Uh, it is, of course, Football Prizes. Link is in the description to Football Prizes. Um, and uh, there you go. D listen, there's no lead specific prize this week um, because you've already sold it out. I think the last one we had was the Ethan Ampadu shirt, wasn't it? But there are other prizes available. I think there might be some match day tickets on one of them. Um, let me just see if I can find it. There was earlier, unless that's gone as well. Um, there's England match day tickets, private jet prize. Wow. A private jet prize. Flights on the FP private jet. Wow, you can get a private jet. Um, uh, here's the prizes. Look, match day competition. Um, let me just see this. Match day competition, winner's choice, win 21 hospitality tickets to a match of your choice. Leeds United versus Hull City is there. Um, so make sure you, uh, make sure you, make sure you check it out, folks, yeah? Link is in the description to that as that. Um, here we go. Uh, one second. It's just, uh, just a fire stick, broski. Um, there you go. Yeah, mate, I'm here as well. I'm I'm working. This is my job, isn't it? Um, yo, snitches get stitches. <laughs> What's he on about, man? Mate, it's radio, visual radios. Chill out, yeah. Don't say that, man. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't really, is it? Have I just done something wrong? I don't know. I'm a G. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, yeah, listen, right, let's get into today's lineup as well, by the way. Um, let's have a look. Um, that's an unreal bench, someone says. Um, let's have a look. Uh, right, let's have a look at this bench uh, for Leeds United. So we've got Darlow, Byram. Connor Roberts, Charlie Creswell, Liam Cooper, Jaden Anthony, Dan James, Joel Pirro, Matteo Joseph. The bench is sick. Like we are, we we're at full strength, aren't we? This is the first time this season, yeah. This is the first time this season we'll be at full strength. I'm almost sure it is. Listen, if you haven't already, smash a like on the video for me. Uh, just having a look, we've got 171 likes. Let's get that up to 200 likes asap if we can, please. Big up to Darren Smith, who's been a member now for seven months, over half a year. Big up to you, mate. He says, "Morning, Joe. Leads to win three one today. Yeah, man." Um. Yeah, do, do you know what, Daniel? When I seen this, I shat myself because I was thinking my season ticket's gone. But if you pass it on to one of your friends and family or sell it back to the club, it counts towards the 80%. So I'm good. 
because I was worried. I was like, oh my God, my ticket's gone. But thankfully. Um, only missing Strout. Yeah, sorry, uh, Strout. Yeah, Shawnee boy. At the end of the day, Shawnee, if we win today, the gap's three. And then they play at 3 p.m. I've got you hooked up for that game as well, folks. Don't worry, just to show you what I mean. I'll uh, switch the image around. This is what we're going to be doing at 3 p.m. Uh, after this video, uh, you'll see. Bang. We'll be doing this, okay? Uh, obviously, it'll change, and I'll put, like, um, you know, the scores in, in these places and stuff like that, yeah? So we've got the 3 p.m.s locked off as well. Uh, so so that's all good. Um, let me put this. Boom. There, we're back on. Um, no, it's called Leeds, man. Leeds. Have I put Leeds? <laughs> have I put Leeds? Uh, let's have a look. <coughs> Oh, yeah, I've put Leeds, Anna. I've got Leeds on the brain. Let me change that. His name's Tom Lees. Do you remember Tom Lees, lad? He used to play for Leeds United. I thought he was going to be sick. Um, there you go, Tom Lees. Um, no, I d listen, I think they might... I think they might keep him about, but, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know what this means, broski. What does that mean? Who's red bars? Who's them? Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, only missing Strout though, aren't we? Um, <laughs> never too early for a Foster's to be night time. Some, mate, I'm, I'm locked in on the monster because I didn't have a great sleep. Didn't have a great sleep and then, um, because I had my son last night. And when I have my son, he kicks the shit out of me, man. He kicks the shit out of me during the night, I can't lie to you. Big up to Sammy Jade, No Scope Zone, Gary Foster, Brendan, AJ, what the... What the hell? Would rather start Joseph? No, man. No, why? I seen this as well. Why? Like Bamford's the Donny. We don't need to be changing Bamford because Joseph got two goals in the cup. You don't rush this. You don't rush. You take your time because you could go out and have a stinker and everyone would be going, why has he had a stinker? You need experience, time. You don't need to be Throwing people straight in, honestly. I'm just like, when people, after the game, after the game, there was a rhetoric online about, right, we need to get, we need to get Ampadu back in midfield immediately and Strauch in. And that's just because you on that for months. Like, but why are we even discussing this? You don't need to do that. We've just, we, we, we've just done, you know, a great performance, and straight away people are like, "Bang, bang," to, you know, it, it's, it's, I don't know, I don't. And then I've seen Zovic, big up Zovic, by the way. But talking about Vorba, why were you even talking about Vorba? He's shit. He was garbage. Max Vorba is rubbish, and I do not want him anywhere near this side. And as we get closer to the end of the season, I don't want none of them back. No, I don't mind. Zo Zovic is a good guy, but what I'll say is that Max Forber shout is silly. And then, you know, I've I've, I've come to the realization half that people just make stuff up to create content around stuff that's not even real. Like there was chat of Aronson coming back in January. There was never a thing. You know, I just I just think people make stuff up. Or rip other people off, one or the other. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, the make is ADX. Um, I can't remember. Fire something chair or something it was called. It's really comfy, bro. It's much better than the white one. I can't lie. Um, oh, you meant Vorba. Yeah, yeah. This one, I'm saying, Kilgallagher. But why? Why, though? Why are we even discussing that? He's dead. Oh, someone said it's MW35. The Connor said it. Connor said he would wait. Well, <laughs> Vorba's shit. Vorba's shit. They're all shit. And listen, Vorba's doing well in Germany. They're going to take him permanently. Why are we even discussing it? It's not a thing. It's not even a thing. You know? David Speakman says, I disagree with much of what you say tonight, Joe. Tonight? Tomorrow? Today? That's fine, though. We can't all agree. We can't all agree. If we all agreed, the world would be a boring place. We can't all agree. What do you disagree on, though, David? Talk to me. What do you disagree on? And then we can have a discussion um, about what it is you disagree on, and we'll have a chat about it, innit? Um, yeah, man. Well, 
Vobber's not okay, man. Vobber's rubbish. Honestly, he's rubbish. Robin Flaccid, German International. Rubbish. They're all rubbish. Terrible, man. You know, it's mad. Wouldn't take any of the loanies back. No, listen, I wouldn't have minded. Listen, and this might... This probably is, like, counterproductive to what I've just said about Vaux, but I always liked Jack. But he isn't coming back now anyway, but... Oh, Mark, love this. Tan... Oi! Them two are fighting over a bone. Pack it in! What are you doing? Leave it. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, mate, it's 40 degrees up here, man. Can't lie to you, look at that sun. 40 degrees in sunny Sunderland. <laughs> um, yeah, this is how you do it, man. You watch the game on Sky or wherever you're watching. You mute it, you listen to me. There you go. Um, yeah, I mean, Rocker wasn't good in a lead shirt, though. Rocker wasn't good in a lead shirt, if we're being honest. He's a good player, but he wasn't good in a lead shirt. Now, that obviously is down to the system that he was asked to play in, right? Um, yeah, Jack, future, again, don't need to rush it for me. He's been great at right back. Roberts wasn't great at right back. Play Gray there. Play Gray there, bringing Gruyev and Kamara, just much stronger. Now, when we move up a division and in the summer and a full pre-season, he plays in midfield. He does do that. But right now, Tranquillo, Karma, you don't change what isn't broken. That's my opinion on it. That's why we, we don't need to we don't need to go to to Joseph. I'd like to see him get more minutes. If he came off the bench again today and started scoring and Bamford's had a bit of a stinker, then you can have a conversation. But two goals in the cup against Chelsea doesn't get you above Bamford yet, you know? Um, Phil Hayes latest retweet. What's he said? Let's have a look. Um, it must be something that I missed. Um, let's have a look. What's he been said here? Um, something daunting about these next four fixtures in a row. Skybet Championship gauntlet that you need to get past to win promotion. Yeah. <laughs> it's not wrong, is it? It's not wrong. This is like shit house central, actually. When you look at this, this is by Amo of uh, Square Ball Man. Uh, if you have a look here, you, you know what I mean. It is. This is championship shit house heaven, isn't it? Um, listen, if we get maximum points, I've told you, and I've told you for some time though. I do worry. Um, I, I I do worry about Millwall at the end of that run, but. Um, uh, Anthony, man, what, based on what? Based on what? Contender, ready! Gladiator, ready! Remember, Gladiator, you will go on my first whistle. <laughs> Contender, you will go on my second whistle. <laughs> Three, two, one, hit! <laughs> um, based on what? Vauban in a Leeds United shirt was garbage. Is garbage. He might be doing well over in Germany, and he's a good player, whatever. But for me, nah. I don't want any of them back. They can get in the bin. Win these four, we win the league. We'll be a step closer for sure. For sure. I think we've got like... Is these only the four in March, or do we have more than that? Can I just check? Can you hear Can you hear the TV again? Let me just double check that, because I can hear it over myself. So I just want to make sure you can't. Um, so we don't want it taken down, do we? That's how it used to go, though, right? You will go on my first whistle. <laughs> um, let me just have a look at March fixtures. Yeah, so we've got Stoke, Chef Wednesday, Millwall, then Watford, plus this. So, all good. Um, AJ, man, that was a good Scottish accent. Hey, AJ, WTF. <laughs> yeah, man. I think that's good. Marching on together, says uh, Colin Blackshaw, member for two months. Big up to you. Uh, we got Watford, good Friday yet, yeah, and then a game on uh, Easter Monday, haven't we, which is the first. We got Hull City, so we'll know soon. We'll know. Remember, there's only nine weeks left, people. Only nine weeks. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Gladiator, ready. <laughs> Contender, ready. You will go on my first whistle. 
That is a sick impression, I can't lie. I cannot lie. Um, Dad lived in Edinburgh. I'm giggling my ass off. It's good, that Joe. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, both on Sky. That's good for me because that means the games in the in the in the middle of the day. Boom. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Um, spot on. Yeah, sounds more like Shrek. Well, he was Scottish. Shrek's Scottish. Mike Myers is Scottish, isn't he? Yeah, fat bastard. From. Um, Austin Powers. I weren't just calling you a fat bastard there, by the way, Ben. Sorry for my language, folks. Um, yeah, Michael Myers is... Is his name Michael Myers? No, that's wrong, isn't it? That's the, that's the killer guy. What is his name? Who's the guy? Shrek is Scottish, man. Yeah. He's not Canadian, man. He's not. He's Scottish, no? Oh, I have to check this now. I thought he was Scottish, man. It says, Scottish actor and comedian. <laughs> oh, he's Canadian. Didn't know that. I genuinely thought he was Scottish. Groovy, baby. Boy. Yeah, man, that was terrible, wasn't it? Yeah, nah, he's Canadian. Big up to the Canadians in the chat. Yeah, he's really good at accents. Really, really good. But yeah, Shrek is Scottish, right? So yeah. Um, over a thousand watching. Please do smash a like on the video. We've only got 288, folks. So let's get that up to 500 if we can. It'd be great. Um, he's acting Scottish. I tell you, I've been watching Shang-Chi. Because um, I'd never seen Shang-Chi. I've been watching it on Disney+. Plus, and you know Ben Kingsley, who plays that guy who's in Iron Man 3. You know, the guy who's like a pretend terrorist. And um, he says to me, I remember I was watching that. I was watching Planet of the Apes. And then monkeys were riding horses. Uh, and I was like, how are they riding them horses? And his mum went, they're acting, son. And he went, that's how I knew. And they were like, what? So you actually thought that their monkeys were riding horses? And he goes, yeah, but they're acting as though they're riding horses. I still don't know how they do it. <laughs> I was like, I was just dead. He was funny. He was funny. Great actor, Ben Kingsley, by the way. It was really funny. I've probably not done that justice. You probably think, what are you talking about? But any, anyone who's seen Shang-Chi and gets that scene, he's, he's brilliant in that, uh, to be fair. Um, yeah, man. Um, Herbert says, extra early. What, in England? I guess, yeah, I suppose 12 o'clock is quite early in England, isn't it? Um, but no. Um, <laughs> Don't forget as well, man. We can't, we, we, um, we need to do... Um, the three o'clocks, the three o'clocks. I need to find who's about at five, actually, to be honest, for my post match. But um, we will, we will do it. We will get there. Um, right, okay. Let's let's have a look at the lineups then in a little bit more detail, because uh, I've got the Huddersfield lineup on there, but it's not in like position order. Um, so just give us a sec. I'll get this game up for us. Do you know whenever I see this blue, this this thing here, I want to do that thing. Have you seen where that person interviews that guy on holiday and he goes, Ooh, and just eats the mic when they're asking, I think it's a football question or something, and he just goes, Ooh. Yeah, big up to Ke Kerem Mahir over in Turkey, a Leeds fan over there. Big up to you, mate. Um, 10 o'clock in, in Oz, Gold Coast, says James. It must be nice waking up at 10 a.m. on Gold Coast. I can't lie to you. Um... I'm pissing it down in Sunderland. Uh, right, okay, let's um, let's go through the lineups in a little bit more detail then. So, you've got Lee Nichols in goal. It's a back five, okay? So, Matty Pearson, Tom Lees, and Nakayama, the three centre-backs. Sauber Thomas and Ben Spencer, wing-backs. Sauber Thomas, obviously good on either flank. So, I expect him to be, you know, making forward runs for sure. Uh, Kasuma Hog Rodoni. Um, in midfield with Danny Ward and Bergzorg up top. Danny Ward came off the bench and scored two the other day. Uh, Bergzorg um, was good against us. As I say, Rodoni's a good player. Sauber Thomas as well, ones to watch out for. Uh, for Leeds United, it's as expected. Melier, Gray, Rodon, Ampadu, Firpo, Kamara, Gruyev, Nonto, Rutter, Somerville and Bamford leading the line. Um, benches looks like this. Uh, Maxwell, Tom Edwards, obviously Tom Edwards, the worst right-back I've ever seen. Uh, even worse than Christensen. 
Michael Helic, uh, Jaheim Headley, Ben Wiles, Alex Matos. Surprised he's not starting on loan from Chelsea. Um, Brahim Diara, Josh Karoma and Bojan Radlovic. And then for Leeds United, probably the strongest bench of the season, we've got Carl Dallo, Sam Byram, Connor Roberts, Liam Cooper, Charlie Creswell, Dan James, Jaden Antonet, Matteo Joseph and Joel Pirro. The majority, I think all of these walk into most championship sides. Byram would, Creswell played a full season at Millwall last season, Roberts would, having just been in the team of the year, Cooper would get in to mid-table, lower end, Dan James, Anthony Joseph, Pirro all get in sides and they're all on our bench, you know. We've got to get promoted, isn't it? Up the town says Billy Marsh. Big up to you, Billy. Nice one for being here, Broske. Um, you will get beat today, though. I can't lie to you. So just be just be ready for that. 1am in New Zealand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Joe. If you start with them on a week-by-week -week basis, so if you had Pirro in the 10, Joseph up top, Roberts at right back, James at right wing, Jaden Anthony at left wing, Creswell instead of Roden. It still gets you there, doesn't it? It still gets you in the playoffs. Um, Darlow in goal. It still gets you there. Um, snowing concert, really. Concert's in the arse end of nowhere, David. I've been before. It's boom. 7 0 spanking. I can't see it, but but we've got our own Rodone. I don't get it. Need vo more volume. Okay, I'll turn it up a little bit. I don't want to turn it up too much, but yeah, I've turned it up a little bit for you. I am still getting to that perfect, like, um, niche. Do you know what I mean? Getting to that, that perfect niche. I think I can get this other attachment that Dan were telling me about, but it's I'll get there anyway. It is what it is. Chippenham have snow. Where's Chippenham? I didn't even know that was a real place. Chippenham. Um, okay, so uh, smash a like on the video, folks. We've got 377. Um, let's get that up to 400. Uh, regards from Vietnam. How do I say hello in Vietnamese? Tell me. Um, Jarvis says I'm a bit deaf. Phone is a shit speaker. Well, you wanted me to turn it up because your phone's broke. What about everyone else? <laughs> Um. Yeah, James, amazing. It's great support on the channel. I'm still still have to pinch myself. You know what I mean. And when I when I when I when I share with people and say, look, this is where I'm at, and this is what's been going on, and all that. It's just it's yeah, it's it's amazing. Jinjao, Jinjao, Sinjao. Hopefully that's yeah. Mum's doing okay, mate. Uh, Mum's doing okay. Thanks for checking in with that. Um. Will not be too far now from uh, watching from Paris. Bit rainy over here. I've been Paris. I went to Paris. I went to Disneyland. I wasn't overly, you know, like obviously Paris. It's the city of love. I took Harry's mum to Paris for a birthday, but I didn't rate it. I thought it was quite dirty, bro. Is that wild to say? Anyone from Paris? I don't mean to be rude, but I thought in parts it was quite dirty. Yeah, I went to the the Louvre, <laughs> the Louvre. <laughs> I went to the Louvre, and I went to um, what's that roundabout where you have to get across into the middle? What's that roundabout called? I went there. Um, the train systems are good. I enjoyed the double decker train things. <laughs> um, I went on that roundabout, which, by the way, that roundabout is insane. All them cars going round. Um, I went to obviously Disneyland as well. That's it. Champs Elysees on the Champs Elysees. I was even disappointed with the with the with the with the shops on the Champs Elysees at the Triomphe. That's it. Do you like my pronunciation? Pronunciation can't even pronounce pronunciation. The the Triomphe and the the Louvre. <laughs> Um, a lot of capitals are overrated, though. Yeah, fares. Um, Jay drove around that. I don't know how you did, mate. Watching them cars go around the Arc de Triomphe? Nana. Nana. Not for me. It was scary even trying to navigate it. Crazy. Isn't it mad outside of England? Like, there is mad drivers. Mad drivers everywhere. Like, my ex went to India for work. And like, if anyone's been to India, some of the stuff she was showing me and telling me, like taxi drivers just like flying in between cars and that, and then tuk tuks and that, mental. <laughs> Jay says, rumor has it there's people in their sixties still going round in the inside lane. You imagine? 
Imagine like, ah, it's my birthday next week. <laughs> I don't, Mark, I'm learning, bro. I'm learning at the minute. Yeah, I'm learning again. Um, I should be past soon, I promise. I can't wait, man. I cannot wait. I saw people driving with no headlights at night and cars without doors in Egypt. Mate, you can find that in Leeds. <laughs> you can find that up top of Beeston Hill, people driving with no doors and that, and no lights on. Might be stolen and that, but boom. Roms, I said 3-1, bro. You look like Posty, by the way. Every time I p see your picture, you look like Posty Malone. Um, minus the tats. Um, I think I think Leeds United win now 3 or 4-1. Three or four one. Yeah, you'll be 21 soon. You should drive. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't drive in India. It was scary. Yeah, PRE, man. Mental, innit? That game over. Don't forget to smash the like foot. Why is Paul Heckingbottom on my TV again? Why? I'm sick of seeing his face. Easy match, says Kobe. I mean, I didn't think it was, and I think it'll be, be tough, but I'm more confident now I've seen the lineup, even though... I'd preempted that, but actually seeing it in 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 graphic, I was like, yeah. Uh, Huds v Leeds, ninety percent think Leeds United will win this game. Ninety percent. Let's put let's put a poll out. Score lines. Um, I'm gonna put a couple. So what I think. So we'll go. These are all uh, two one Leeds, three no Leeds. 1-1, one, one, and then we'll go 4-1 leads. <laughs> just put some in there. I just put some in there for mixer, see what's close. Uh, Allison, one all. Wow, what's going on there? 4-1 leads, we've got 4-1. Well, I've put a poll out. I'll tell you what, whatever gets the most, I'll stick a quid on it. Eh? <laughs> whatever gets the most, I'll stick a quid on it. Is there any specials on Skybet? Please make sure you do gamble responsibly, by the way, folks. Uh, most voted before the team news. Yep. Here is Andre Brighton Reiner. Didn't even want to say our uh, name, did he? Oh, no, that wasn't him. That was the, the gaff, uh, the owner. But why have I got that in my account? Where the fuck did that come from? I've got £15 in my bet free in my Skybet. Why is that there? I wonder if, right, because I'll tell you what happened over there and I was raging, raging. I had... I wonder if they've given me some of it back. I bet that's what it is. So basically, I had a builder bet, right? I had a builder bet that had, like, Tony two shots on target, Bowen shot on target. Remember when West Ham beat them 4-1 or whatever? Jensen shot over so many throw-ins, so many corners, right? And then Suchek, Suchek for uh, a foul. He got the foul, didn't he? He got the foul. They took it off him. I'd won about 170 quid. They took it off him because apparently he actually didn't do the foul. So I wonder if they've given me a section of it back. But I don't know where that's come from. I'll have to try check. I genuinely didn't know. Because I was fuming with it. I was like, what? Yeah, please make sure you gamble responsibly. There is such thing as... There's people that win, bro. There's people that win. I don't know anyway, but there we go. Um, let's have a look what specials we've got then uh, on the uh, on the Leeds United game. Huddersfield versus Leeds. Have they got any specials? Right, come on. So they've got Rutter to score or assist at even money. Somerville, two shots on targets, two to one. Now, the last time we put that on, it didn't come in, but I think that could be on. Jack Rodoni, three fouls. Now, if Rodoni, let me just have a look at his position, because if he's playing anywhere close to Rutter and Somerville, they always get brought down. So it might be worth a, worth a look at six to one. But three fouls is a lot, actually, in it. It's if the referee had judged him to a foul. Um, Leeds, nine shots on target. I think I'm going to go Somerville again with two shots on target at two to one. And uh, seeing as I've just found I've got, 15 quid, I'll put a tenner on and get 30 back. There we go. Two to one. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, big up Jacob. Big up Jacob Creswick. Uh, seven nil, says Jack Bailey. Um, <laughs> look there, they're just showing Archie Gray there in front of Sam Byram. Sam Byram doesn't look like he's aged, by the way. Sam Byram doesn't look like he's aged at all. 
Um, if we're being totally honest, he genuinely looks like he hasn't aged. What's Bamford's odds for two shots on target? I'm not sure, Broski. I'm not sure. Uh, I can have a look for you if you if you'd like. Uh, don't forget to smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, hit that notification bell, all that jazz, folks. It massively helps. We've got over a thousand people watching, only 455 likes. So if we could rectify that situation, that'd be greatly appreciated for me. Please put that up to um, <laughs> jinxed it now. Well in, get a grip. Don't believe in jinx. Here we go. Boom. Um, what was I checking now? I can't remember what I was checking. I was checking something. That was it. I was checking the poll. So 44% have gone for 3-0 leads. The other one have gone 4-1. So I did say whatever wins the poll... I'll put uh, I'll put a pound on it. So we'll put a pound on uh, on Leeds United to win three nil. Let's have a look. Where's correct score? There we go. Away three nil win eleven to one. There you go. Done. Um. Do you remember who said 7-0? Do you really think it'll be 7-0, bro? Uh, I think it's on... Um, I've got it on now, mate. It's on um, main event. Main event, mate. Josh um, XMO over in Australia says worried for this game, feeling one all. Nah, we'll be all right, bro. Um, yeah, main event. Yeah, listen, if Jack, if, if it's 7-0, you deserve... Yeah, and Steve also said it as well. He's been saying it. Don't, she'll end up... I'll end up just throwing a quid on it. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Should I tell you what the odds are on a 7 0 win? 200 to 1. Everyone's saying 7 0 now, don't, man. <laughs> I'm going to put 50p on it and get 100 quid back. There you go. <laughs> oh, God. I haven't got the Crocs on. I haven't got Crocs on. I need to go put my Crocs on, don't I? Donna, yeah, because if I ain't got Crocs, we don't win. Right, I'm going to stick an advert while I go get me Crocs. Two minutes. We're back. Crocs are on. <clears throat> Crocs on, people. So if you remember, against Leicester, the Crocs came on, bang. That was it. It was game over, wasn't it? We won. Um, don't forget to uh, don't for check. Don't forget to check out Leeds United. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Ed in the game, Joe. Don't to check. Don't to check. What is going on? Let's start again. Don't forget to check out football prizes. Okay, links in the uh, in the description. Paco Mac, that says more about you than me, Broski. Um, to be honest. What makes them girly and what's wrong if they were girly? And they're not, by the way, they're rock hard. You can have them in you 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 can have them in sports mode, chill mode, like Big up Jacob Creswick. It is real, Mr. Creswick, Jacob's dad. We give him a shout out. Um, Archie to score, Joe. Not from right back today, no. Uh, not today. Um, is there any Premier League game on at lunchtime? I don't think there is, is there? Um, no, there isn't. How's everyone feeling with the fantasy teams? I've had some very, very good weeks. Yeah, sports mode crocs. These, this is sports mode, bro. You have them in sports mode because that means you can run. So when you need to get away quick... At the scene of a crime, you put them in sports mode, yeah? Then when they're in chill mode, boom. Yeah, mum's getting on great, Mally. He is the best name in the game, look, horse in a council flat. Says, hi, Joe, hope you well. Hope, hope you. Yeah, listen, um, oh, you need to be a member, Debbie, I believe. You need to be a member. Um, let's have a look. Did you know if you throw a genius croc in the air, it always lands soul side down? I didn't know that. I don't want to throw my crocs in the air. 
Um, someone said, where's Joe gone or is it me? He's just disappeared. Diddly, diddly, diddly. Um, the croc talk is what we're here for. Exactly, bro. Um, big up to Kobe, by the way. Big up to Kobe. Thanks for the love. There's uh, Eddie Gray talking at the John Smiths, obviously talking about Archie. Um... Yeah, let's get Cree Somerville two shots on target while winning 2-0. Or Cree Somerville two goals and we win 7-0. Um, Aaron, big up to Aaron. Became a member of the Just Joe Football Show. Um, no meltdowns here, bro. Never. Oh, no way, Richard. Well, what I actually had was um, Ollie Watkins and he did well. He did well. A lot of people had Haaland, but the only problem is, right, I've had about Four good weeks now with a decent gap when you think about how many points you've got. So I've had about four green arrows. But unfortunately, because I've had a terrible week, I just aren't moving anywhere, really. I just want to get into top 200 in our mini league, and I'm on 300 and odd now, but like low. So I might, might get into top 200 this week. I haven't captained Harlan, though, and I think it might be a mistake because, I, I mean, there's still time to change it, change it because I think he's going to slap Manchester United. I think I might do that game tomorrow, depending depending on what's what's going down. Um, should probably do it because I think they're going to get slapped. But Joe with the fresh trim, can you tell me fresh prints? Looking good, eh? Looking good. Um, your top fifty in my league, Vic. I'm gonna have to ban you out of league now, mate. You're gone. You're a goner. <laughs> I joke, of course. Hilarious. Uh, Watkins is quality. He is. Listen, we're only 15 minutes away from kickoff now as well. Not too long to go. What are you saying? My G's. Let's have it. I think we win, don't you? We'll be right. We'll be right. Nonto cooking on gas. Somerville cooking on grass. We'll be right. Um. Doodly doodly doodly. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Yeah, I tried to watch X Files again. I, I forget which one you can get them on. If it's Amazon or if it's um, Disney, I think it might be Disney actually. But I can't watch them because they're just too dated now. Doctor Cox, the head tattoos. Had to, listen, I had to be adult. I had to be adult. I cancelled it and said I'll be back in touch because I need to drive. So I actually was adult about it and said, listen, I'm gonna have to. I'm going to have to push it back because I need to drive. So, yeah. Big up to Calvin. Um, so, yeah. Start strong, make it yours all together. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Um, yeah, I, I, I know, Vic. It's just dated now. And I, I tell you what, I, lo I love Gillian. What's her name? I was going to call her Gillian. Gillian McKeith. Um, what's her name? Gillian Scott? Is that her name? Oh, big up, Daryl. I hope you enjoy the Stoke game, mate. Gillian Anderson, is that a name? Oof. Oof. <laughs> As Vic and Bob would say, like that, on knees. <laughs> um, yeah, she's lovely. I tell you what, she's great in as well, and very oozes sex appeal is um, um, Hannibal, the TV series, which I loved, by the way. I loved, but... It got panned and uh, finished after after season three, but I loved it. They rushed it in the end, but I, I, it was great. She's got another one out that I was going to watch the other day, another series, like a thriller, the drama, police drama, but I sacked it off and just started watching Mindhunter again. Have you ever watched Mindhunter? The Fall Dino, it might have been that. Have you ever watched Mindhunter? That's, that's great. That's really good. Um, what's Locke spouting about here? None of them start for Leicester. Well, I think he's telling lies. Because Pirro gets in over their strikers. Yeah, Mindhunter is class, isn't it? 
It is very, very good. And I'll check the fallout. Let me have a look. That might have been it. That might have been it. Is it a police drama? Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, n yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll get on that then. I know it's on one of them. Yeah, same. Do you know what I think, AJ? Do you know what I think it was? It was too artsy. Eh? You know, like when it would show like the blood dripping off a thing and it would be all musicy and that. I enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. And I was gutted when they got rid of it. But this is this is the Hawk said death moth. That's why I got it. You know, on the on Silence of the Lambs. And that's that. Um so yeah. Here we go anyway. Not many Leeds managers have done the double over Huddersfield Town and Redfern's tweeted it. Go on, Redfern. Is that Billy Sharp as well? Yeah, Billy Sharp, that gold kit. Terrible. Macron. Horrible kit. Joe Rodan says it's going to be a tough game. Yeah, man. Six changes for Leeds. Patrick up front. Georgie Cree and Willie. Glenn and Ilya in midfield. Ethan captains the side. Big up. Um, well, no need. Why, why, though, on the trail? Why would you drop? Why would you drop Griev and Kamara? Why would you... Why would you... Um, what else did you say? Connor Roberts was rubbish against Chelsea. Yeah, I know, bro. Made a mistake. All good. Um, big up, Jacob. Thank you for that. Big up to Johnny in Leeds as well. Fellow Baldy, apparently. Big up. This game will be... T no, I don't think it will, bro. The reason I say that is because they're going to come and have a go. Um, let them come and have a go and we'll we'll dust them. We'll dust them up. I think we'll catch them in transition, mate. I think we'll be too much for them in transition. So, yeah. All good. All good in the hood. Um... No worries, Mr. Twitter Z. Anyone know condition of unlucky fan at Stamford Bridge? Uh, apparently he's all right. It was the same fan that hit Chris Kirkland, wasn't it? No one at half-time, Shawnee Boy. No, they're all busy, I think. All busy today. Yeah, Conor Roberts needs to get his fitness up as well. Yeah, that's, that's a good point, mate. There is that as well, isn't there? Don't forget to smash a like on the video, folks. We've got 573. Uh, so if we could get the likes up, that would be greatly appreciated. It massively helps the channel. Um, so please do do that for me if you could. Because uh, as I say, it massively, massively helps. Um, with growth and all that jazz. He has broken ribs and a break. Um, Breaking pelvis, someone's just said, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. No worries, Joe. I'll drop you a message if I do. Um, yeah, I will. Do. Everyone's telling me about the fall, so I will. I will get on it. Um, no, he wasn't pushed, mate. He'll have just been celebrating, going a bit wild. But yeah, hope he's all right. Like I say. Um, How's everyone feeling about this record then? Ten, ten wins on the spin. I said, been nervous all morning, and now I've seen the lineup and it's all gone. They're getting smashed. <laughs> uh, someone says, jinxed it now, well in. I never believe in that. Someone's put, yes, complete destruction. There's only one comment who said I've jinxed it, so I love that the majority of people are like, yeah, let's go. Um... So that's good. TJ McConnell and Larry uh, Larry Nance, all leads, aren't we? They said, I seen TJ McConnell. I think he follows all leads TV and like liked a video. I was in. I was like, oh, this is cool. Uh, eight minutes away. Yeah, just eight minutes away now from kickoff. Broken pelvis is really bad. Yeah, I'd imagine so. 
Can I ask you a question as well? Because it's been really, really uh, chewing me up a bit. Not chewing me up, but just intrigued. Why was such a big deal made out of Michael Bridges saying that Joe Roden had nothing between the ears? Because if you watch the clip a little bit further on, like Robert says, everyone takes the piss out of him. I didn't understand. Like, that's what happened. There's always someone in your mates who have no common sense and that. I don't know if it were that deep. Just out of interest, because I've seen a lot of people, like, unhappy about it. So, I just wonder what people thought. Uh, 10 wins is good, but 21, 21 wins will be better. Yeah, of course he was joking. Yeah, he's, they've obviously got a good relationship. Um, yeah, I just thought it was weird, man. Yeah, exactly, Rhiannon. It, it was so, like, I, I, I genuinely was like, eh? What are we on about here? <laughs> it wasn't that deep. Yeah, Rodon said DJ had nothing between his ears too. And it, that's what I mean. If you watch the rest of the clip and he goes, oh, yeah, Rodon's always been like that. When we go with Wales, he's always getting stick as well. You know, because some people aren't intelligent and some people are. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I just thought it was a bit strange. Maya Maya became a YouTube member. Um yeah, Katrina, I don't watch it. I, I've never watched the club's podcast, even when who was on it before, Beckford and, and so on. So I never watched it because it can't be genuine. It can't be genuine because it's the club's media. So no matter what they think, they can't do it. And I know and I know firsthand and, and I know this that before they had videos stopped, um because, like, they did an awesome... I know for a fact they did an awesome in interview with Calvin, but we got beat, so James Mooney said it's not going out. Guy's a fucking clown him. And I know that for a fact, so... I'm glad he's gone and on guard and didn't leave. I'd fight him, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just a bit of bent. It's all bent, isn't it? Yeah, yeah never long bottom, yeah. Great guy, great guy. I actually did the, the walk with him, didn't I? So, yeah, top guy. Really, really nice guy, actually. Him and his brother. Him and his brother. So that was great. Didn't see you broadcasting Shemaine Beckford 1 0 Man United. What do you mean? Everyone is offended by everything now. Just ban it from Bridges. Yeah, I don't think like Joe Rodham was like, I can't believe he said that about me. Do you know what I mean? I assume he still lives in the States, right? I think his partners are. Um, uh, a um an event planner. Um yeah, bagel coffee ESPN J just your football show. I was like, watch JJF. Uh ready for today. Exactly, we're ready, aren't we? Well listen, we're only about four minutes away and I don't know if I need a wee. So I think I might do otherwise I won't make it, so I'll be two minutes. Sorry about the delay. We're back. <laughs> um, there we go. We're done. 
Treat yourself to a sit down wee bro, you deserve it. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Big up. Right, we're going to end the poll there. 44% think 3 0 Leeds United. A go. Here we go then. Here we go for Leeds United. Almost time. I'm going to see if I can. Can you hear that? Can you hear the TV people? What even now? Just. I'll put it down. Some can. Right. I don't think you can hear that, can you? Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Oh, God, I'll have to check my cell phone. <laughs> Sorry about this. One second. Um. Oh, shit. I was playing PS. Hang on. I was playing uh, Hogwarts, man. Legacy last night, so I had this in my PS. Um, no, I know it doesn't bother anyone, but if you can hear it, then I can't... Um, if you can hear it, then you it'll get took down. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Bang. Big up to my man Jack as well. I've just seen him in the chat there. City of Leeds fans, there we go. Make sure you go over and subscribe to his channel. Um, hopefully you can't hear this. So I'm just going to test it myself now anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's not picking it up. Here we go. Doing. Pick the shit up. Oh, I can't even tell. No one can hear it now anyway, can they? Or shall I just... You're such an adult. I'm just worried I'm not going to... Oh, nah, nah. I've lost yous. There we go. I'm not messing with it anymore. I nearly lost yous all then. Right. Nice sound. Nice show, Joe. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Oh, God, I'm smashing the gaff up here. Just leave it alone, Joe, will you? <laughs> you can't hear it now, can you? You can't hear it now, can you? All good. Good stuff. Let me just have a little test here so I can hear it. I'll go live. Yeah, you can't hear Jackman. All we good. We're all good to go. That's me putting my ears down there just to check it. You can't hear Jack. Get up there, Leeds. Ish, 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 ish. <laughs> that means that I don't have to fucking mess about with headphones and that. We're going to be free as a bird. I've just made that lyric up. Free as a bird. You can have that one, Jack. Sit here. Put that in your next. Uh, put that in your next tune, broske. Do you know what I mean? Love it. Ethan Ampadu, captain, fantastic today. Back in that centre-back. We'll take it. We don't mind it. Nah, I don't want to mute it, bro, because I need it. You know, when there's, like, little breaks in play and stuff, I like to let you know what's going on. Otherwise, I'm guessing. And I hate guessing. So, strings for Yasmin. Let's go. Let's go, indeed. There he is. That German. Mm, that German. Mm. <laughs> Let's go, fucker. Get him getting badge in there. Andre Flyven Flyven. What's his called? Brighton Ryan. Seen him then with Stoney. He had Stoney on. Check him out, man. My G. Do you know how much that coat would have cost? Phew. I've had a look at some Stoney gear. I'm going to have to go DH gate because it's too pricey for me. We're underway, folks. Let me put the timer on now. Leeds United and Bamford get us kicked off. Huddersfield are going to press from the front. They're going to have a go, but... It ain't going to work. I'm telling you. Here's Ethan Ampadu. There's the press look from Bergzog straight on top of Leeds. Now you can see what they're trying to do. But if we beat this press, it's going to be a long day. Throw in for Leeds United. Surely referee says no. Somerville can't believe it. Quick throw for Sorba Thomas. It's headed out by Ampadu. See, Huddersfield are going to come and have a go. Which is good for us, you know. I genuinely think it's good for us. So we're all good. We're all good in the hood. Here's the throw in then to come from Huddersfield. Bergzog moving, full of movement for him. Good cut out there from Kamara. Touch from Bergzog, straight out of play, goal kick Leeds United. 
don't let this like because they are going to come in the first 15 whatever they're going to come at us but listen as soon as we beat that press it's open season it's open season for Leeds United cut my man in his feeler coat there that was a beauty that uh, Melier is going to go long then straight over the top to beat the press looking for Somerville defenders nearly getting each other's way listen don't forget they've got Tom Lees at the back as well Sauber Thomas wins it Rodoni there with his uh, 90s uh, Aaron Carter Backstreet Boys haircut. I want it that way. Tell me why. Jack Rodoni. Tell me why. <laughs> uh, Furpo with the throw. Goes back <laughs> to Ampadu. Have you seen that 90s cut, man? For God's sake. He is Archie Gray. Best young footballer in the world. Don't forget to smash the likes up, folks. Here's Melier. Melier playing as quarterback. Jack Rodoni there pressing Ampadu. They're going to do this, you see, but then I'm telling you, one ball in behind, one ball to beat the press in between the lines. It's game over. He is great. We got the ballers to do it. We're balling out. Rodon. Look, goal scored in the first 15 minutes. 15 for Leeds United. Number one in the league. Ampadu there carrying it from centre-back. Into Kamara. Back to Ampadu. Furpo's hugging the touchline, but he goes square into Joe Rodon. Rodon. Nice ball out to Archie, that. Archie Gray. Archie. Archie Gray. Archie. Archie Gray. Goes into Ethan. Ampadu. Do, do. Push my apple. Shake the tree. Ampadu. Do, do. Nice little ball out to Furpo there. Furpo. Challenged by Sauber Thomas, but that'll be a throw into Leeds. Sauber Thomas just had a baby. Congratulations, Sauber. Sauber Bridge. Sauber. Everyone calls it Sauber, unless you're from Sauber or no Sauber. That's a bit of a information that you didn't really need to know, but there you go. Full of pointless uh, info. He is Gray inside then to Bamford. Bamford to Nonto. Nonto's give it back to Gray. This is good from Leeds United. Infield to Rutter. He's got to give it Nonto. Oh! Come on, a shoot! Somerville! Oh, no! No, no, no! The first attack, Legion... This is a shot on target. The first attack and Legion United have failed to score. Glenn Kamara is not a goal scorer, and you could tell that. Because I'm thinking Nonto hit it. Instead, he squares it to Kamara, and Kamara takes about three touches too many. Just hit the fecking target. He has a strike. It falls to Somerville, and it's then saved or blocked. I can't remember. But Leeds United really should be 1-0 up. It should be 1-0, folks. But that's a shot on target for Somerville, at least. Um, but see, one attack, one shot on target. We, You know, we're cooking. We're cooking on gas. I said that's all it would take. Some little movement. Bamford dropped deep for it. Bamford dropped deep. Gave it to Gray. He sent Nonto. Nonto squaring. You know, we just opened them up. We opened them up. Like a knife through butter. So more of the same will happen over the next 90, 86 minutes. So calma, tranquilo. But I think... Yeah, we should be 1-0 up. If we're being totally honest, we had to score there. Kamara's the one that's ballsed it up. You could argue that Somerville as well... I don't know what's happening there. You could argue as well that Somerville needed to do better. Um, but the the real big chance for me came to Kamara. But Kamara's not a goal scorer. And he were like... Eh, 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 like a hot potato. And then by that time, it were blocked. Terrible effort. Sauber Thomas, here's Jack Rodoni. Rodoni into Ward. Rodon just... Marshals him. The great wall of road on and lets it go through to Ilian Melier. Listen, folks, we've got 740 likes. If we could like the video, folks, get that up to 1,000 likes. Let's get 2,000 live viewers in here. Um, side before self said it's looking more like 7 1, not 7 0. Do you think? Why? Do you think they'll score? Here is Ilian Melier. Melier is looking to go out wide to Gray. Gray, good chest. Oh, look at him. Oh, he almost beats Bergzog there. Bergzog's got the ball, though, for Huddersfield. He goes back to Lees. Press him. That's it. Nonto not giving up the chase. It goes back to the goalkeeper, Nichols. Nichols out wide. Somerville tracking back. It's raining outside. And here is Tom Lees again. Rodoni. Rodoni's been involved a lot. I did pick him out in the preview as someone to watch out for, for sure. So throw in for Leeds United, though. I think he started at Crystal Palace. I don't know if he's on loan. Look at this. They're showing us the replay now. 
Great ball by Gray. It was right to give it to Nonto. I'm hoping Nonto hits it, but Nonto being unselfish. Oh, good save, actually, in the end by Nichols on Somerville, but he had to hit it. He had to hit it first time. To be honest, Somerville should do better as well. They both should. They both should. It should be, yeah, it should be 1-0 uh, at least. And then, do you know, if we score there, it's it's curtains already for Huddersfield. Five minutes in, already a sting in the tail. Do you know what I mean? So it's disappointing, but I still fancy us to score. I'm not concerned. Look, man, end of this game, you know, before three o'clock, we could be three points behind Leicester. Come on, QPR. Gray keeps it in. Nice. Into Nonto. Nonto. That's brought down. Referee says no. He's, he's, he, he, Nonto's throwing himself down on the ground, though, too easy, isn't it? Lee's out to Bergzog. Bergzog up against Gruyev. You will not pass him, mate. He switched the plane. Somerville could get there. Nearly does get there. Unlucky there from Cree Somerville. Right idea. Sorba Thomas now up against Kamara. Kamara comes inside and oh, he's tracked him. He's tracked him. Jack Radoni goes back, but Bamford's there to block it. He has Nonto in tight space. Goes back to Gruyev. Gruyev. Nice. Mr. Press resistant. The all are man. Gives it to Melier. Melier. Give it short into road on a lean United. Look to take the sting out of it a little bit now. But you can see, you know, in the early exchanges, we're just a cut above. And, and listen, they're new to this system. They're going to press. But do they have the energy with the new manager coming in, etc., to maintain it for 90 minutes? I would say no. It's all brand new to them. They do look like they're set up better than they did when they came to Ellen Road. But again, we you know, we got him behind once. And it was again, Melier tries to find Rutter, who was under pressure. There's Gruyev, Gruyev, <laughs> thankfully gives it to Rodon. And here's Rutter, Rutter. Oh, that's a foul ref and should be a yellow card if I'm being totally honest. So there's a bad challenge that on Rutter. He's gone over to check if he's okay. But, you know, Rutter with his body, his movement's exceptional. He is brought down, it is a yellow card. He was getting away from him. Uh, it's Kasumu with the challenge. Yeah, it's a definite foul. It should be a yellow, in my opinion. Referee said no, though, but it'll be a free kick. And it's going to be Gruyev to take. Furpon, some of them are having a little chin wag. Maybe it's a pre-worked routine, I'm not sure. It's gone out to the left, though, Ampadu. Furpo's dropped in for it. Then Somerville's gone. Somerville's probably realised he's got the running on the right back. And said, you know what, start putting that ball in that channel. Because um, I've got him. And he did, and he tried. And look, he's had to slide in order to stop it from going through to Somerville. So maybe Somerville's noticed something where he's thinking, I've got you. Gruyev moves it on to Gray. We know last time Somerville had a lot of joy against the fullback. It wasn't the same. I think it was Tommy Smith, wasn't it? But here's Ampadu to Furpo. Furpo back to Ampadu. Leeds just in complete possession of the football. Complete control right now. Which has put... Put, I think a lot of us at ease, maybe, because a lot of us were nervous ahead of the game. I mean, I was until I seen the lineup. I don't know why. And then the lineup, I was just like, yeah, nah, we're at full strength. 82% possession for Leeds United uh, in the first uh, exchanges. Melier looks for Somerville trying to get it in behind. Furpo, good touch. Then he's smashed into, but the lad ends up on the weights. It goes out for a throw. Don't forget to smash the likes, folks. We've got 800 currently. Let's uh, let's get 8.50 if we can. It'd be great if we could do that. Hope you're all well. Uh, Leeds United flying, cooking on gas. Um, up the town, up the town, says Rewinds Dubs. Here's Gruyev. Make sure you're still here, bro, when we take the lead. Oh, Furpo, lovely little ball through to Somerville. That's what they might have worked on, and he's got the running. He's in the box here, Cree. Can he find a pink shirt? Furpo. Furpo gets dispossessed by Leeds. Somerville with the foul. It was a foul, unfortunately. Maybe he should have just let Nonto engage him, but you could see that slick movement down that left-hand side. Great football from Leeds. Furpo. Oh, it's a lovely one, too. Somerville just turns him. He passes it into Furpo. Turns on his run, and then, like I say, Furpo finds him, but Somerville couldn't get an effort off, and then uh, brought down, uh, I think, Pearson in the process. Bright and Ryan is probably thinking, okay, yeah, this is a tougher test than I anticipated. Anyway, this is uh, uh, this is a um, a free kick. Nichols with the goal kick. He's gone straight long now. Sorba Thomas 
in the centre of the pitch now. He's running down the right-hand side, sorry. Plays a decent ball through to Borgzog. Here's Jack Radoni. Radoni with the effort. Save Melier. Very good save, Melier. It's a good effort. I did say we'd have to watch Radoni. And, um, yeah, he's showing he's got that technical ability. Playing just behind the, the front two. And he's had a shot there. And I tell you what, it's a rasper. A proper rasper. It's a decent strike. Because Ward's there for him. But he gets it through Gray and Rodon. And, listen, Melier had to be equal to it. He hasn't been tested in this first 10 minutes. Now he has. He's saved it. Well done. Right. Sorber Thomas now to take this uh, corner for Huddersfield. We can't concede first. Especially when you consider we've been on top. Look for Hogg. Oh, Rodoni with a flick on. Melier saved again. Two shots, two saves. Big up the Iceman. His confidence is growing as the season goes on. Nakayama. Keeps it alive here. Huddersfield having a go. Sauber Thomas with a decent knock. Melier punches it. Trying to get us away early. Little push in the back potentially by... Oh, Ampadu's headed it. Oh, Ampadu, not the greatest header. Headed it straight up in the air. But Firpo got rid and has managed to find Bamford. And Bamford's challenging. Bamford brought down. Referee says, no, that's a free kick, ref. Huddersfield will come again. You can hear the noise in the John Smith Stadium. Jack Rodoni's causing problems, so Griev needs to keep an eye on him if he can. He's just pop, popping up in loads of little pockets. Here's Sorba Thomas, now on the left-hand side. Can deliver a good pass. He's actually beaten Kamara, but his cross isn't good. But that's two good saves. Melier was called up on there and made two fantastic saves, so that's great to see. The corner ball here, look, Jack Rodoni gets in front of Bamford. Bamford caught napping. Tell you what, it's a better save than we'll give him credit for, because... Jack Rodoni's popped out, then come in front of Bamford. Didn't see much of it. Bam, saved it. Get in there. Get in there. We're being battered, says Martin Nolan. No, we're not. <laughs> not by any stretch of the imagination are we being battered. They've had about two minutes in, out of 12. We had 88% possession a minute ago. What are we saying here? Here's Melier into Rodon. You could see, though, they're having a go. And we, we, said, we said this. You know, I said that in the preview, if you did have a chance to watch it. The manager does have decent pedigree. He's been at some good clubs. He's worked with Nonto at Zurich. He's worked with um, Rutter at Hoffenheim. Likes to play, you know, high press. Play a centric approach. Likes to have a go. Oh, nice. Somerville's popped up on the right-hand side. Now he's got Gray ahead of him. If he can find him, he's give it through to Nonto. May straight offside. He hasn't. And Bamford! What a save. Oh, he's offside anyway. Good save, that, by the way. Bamford point blank straight at the key point. It's a good save, though. He's diving for it. But Nonto had straight offside. I think Somerville should have given it Gray. Oh, he is just offside. I thought... Nonto's done well, though. Great cutback. You can see Leeds United are trying this cutback. They've done that twice now, Nonto. What I will say for Nonto as well, it was very unselfish when he gave the ball to Kamara, which you can tell that's something that's been worked on with him, I think, because earlier on when he was snatching at chances and that, he was maybe taking them from angles he shouldn't have. And, um, yeah, this time, not so much. Oh, the right-back's got down this side. Nonto gets back. Well done, Nonto, and it's a corner ball. Nonto's done really well there. But yeah, him and Somerville have switched sides. Sorba Thomas, though. Decent set piece. Taker. So watch this. Out swinger coming in, innit? Let's have a look. Sorba Thomas is going to be the one to whip this in for Huddersfield. There is Tom Lees. Hog in there as well. The centre-backs. Proper meat and potatoes championship centre-backs. Gash. <laughs> Nakayama and uh, Nonto having words here. I'll just blame Tom Lees. Right, here we go. Here comes the corner now from Sorba Thomas. It's a good knock. It's headed though by Bamford. It's a strike and that's a block from Archie Gray. It'll be another corner to Huddersfield. Huddersfield in the ascendancy when it comes to the set pieces. 
Bamford was wary of Rodoni this time, which is good. You know what I mean? Bamford said, right, you beat me last time. It's not going to happen again. Gray makes the block. It will now be another corner to Huddersfield. See, the thing is with Leeds United, though, as well, if we can get the clearance right from Melia, whatever, there's always an opportunity. I think against Huddersfield in the reverse fixture, we scored in about 15 seconds, if you remember. So that could happen again. Um, here's Sauber Thomas. Cross headed out by Rutter. Only as strike. Kamara. Oh, what did I say? What did I say about us in transition? Somerville. Oh, Bamford, can he get there? Can he get there? He can't. Somerville should have done better there. They were three on three, on three, I think. I did say about that clearance. Rutter won the header. Somerville gets challenged. Bamford could have get it under his spell. So that's what I'm saying. If they're going to throw all their eggs in one basket when they get set pieces, they need to be wary of the counter-attack for sure. Don't forget to smash the likes, folks. We've got 857. If we could get that close to 1,000, that would be great. Or 900 at least. There's 1,900 people watching now. Uh, here is Joe Rodon into Somerville. Somerville's starting to get on the ball now, playing on this right-hand side. He's drew a foul there, um, and that'll sort us right out. So it'll be a free kick in our own half here, folks. Leeds United nil, Huddersfield nil. I've enjoyed the game of football. It's been a good game of football, I can't lie to you. So This, this is good. That is good. Um, here is Furpo. There's a run from deep from Nonto, but it goes into Rutter. Rutter, good feet. Oh, he's put him on his ass. Go on, Rutter. He's took on one. Can he take on another? It's a challenge, but Rutter causes all sorts of problems, I tell you. Brody Spencer was left for dust there as he tried to make the slide tackle. So it's a throw in Junior Furpo to take. Junior Firpo goes back to Ampadu. Ampadu then to his compatriot, Joe Rodon, who then goes back to Melier. Last 10 minutes or so, Huddersfield have looked the better side. Um, I mean, it's been a lot of corners and that, hasn't it? But yeah, into Bamford. Bamford to Rutter. Rutter will turn. Great feet from Bam uh, Rutter. Tries to give it back to Bamford. Instead, it's gone back to the goalkeeper, Lee Nichols, with the, from the defender. And... Rodon let that bounce, I think. Maybe didn't, should have attacked it. But it's going to be a throw-in anyway for Huddersfield, just over halfway. Uh, Nakayama's come forward to take it for Huddersfield. Pissing down in, in Huddersfield, isn't it? Huddersfield. Rodoni to Ward. Good challenge by Gray. Kamara will deal with that. Gives it back to Ampadu. Apart from the set pieces, not been worried, have we? We've had the effort from, from deep from Rodoni, but Bamford wins that. Well done, Bamford. Somerville, oh, he's, he's brought down there, but Gray's continued the run. Somerville was hacked down, but here's Archie Gray. Somerville's still on the deck. Gray inside to Bamford. Bamford tries to flick it through to Nonto, and he was unlucky there. But look at Archie Gray battling back there with Sauber Thomas. There goes across Kamaru, was probably blocked off, but it goes out. <laughs> he tries to get it out right. Somerville's hurt himself here. It was a bad challenge, though. Somerville was away, I can't lie to you. He managed to find Bamford. Hopefully he's gonna be uh, hopefully he's gonna be good to good to stay on, folks. I think it was Hogg with the challenge. Well of course it was. Dirty git. We all know about Hogg. Just that proper dirty championship fodder. Yeah, look at him, he snapped him there, you know. Bad challenge. Bad challenge, Hogg. Really bad challenge, look. He's just smashed him. Horrible. Has he got a yellow for it? Look at that, man. He's off the ground and everything. He's just scissor tackled him. Should be mugged off, Hog. Yeah, he gets a yellow. Fair enough. But that's this is the thing. Some of them, Nonto Rutter, they get they get they get extra attention, don't they? But it looks like Nakayama's hurt himself in the process. Hog's that dense that he's challenged both of them, I think. Gimp. Some of them better not go off anyway, because we had his um we had his uh two shots on target, didn't we? <laughs> and he's had one, so. Don't forget to smash the likes, folks. We're on nine hundred and eleven, so um not that far to go. 
Score prediction, Norwich versus Sunderland. One all, I reckon. How are the lads? One all. There you go. You can stop spamming now, Broska. <laughs> so hopefully some of us going to get up and be okay. Listen, there's 2,000 people watching, by the way. Big up to you all. Thanks for all for joining me. If you haven't already, smash a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new as well. We're, like We've only just passed 27 and we're on the road to 28. It's mad, you know. It's mad, the growthage. I can't lie to you. It's insane right now. 27,340. So nearly halfway there already, which is insane. Right. There we go. There'll be a bit of extra time there, won't there? Big up, Haley. Oh, you from Huddersfield. Nakayama and Somerville both look like they're going to be good to go, which is positive. It's a bounce ball anyway. Hog, you're going to get dusted up for that. Furpo then goes back to Ampadu, leads. We're back underway, 22 minutes on the clock. Looks like Nakayama and Somerville are both going to be able to continue, which is positive. Here's Joe Rodon. Rutter's made a run from deep. You're not going to find him, though. It's Ampadu who loves to play that pass. Griev decides to knock one over the top. Uh, I, I was expecting Nonto or Somerville to enter the pitch, but he was looking for Bamford and it went straight out of play. That's poor, especially by Griev's standards. I can't lie. I just thought my camera had stopped working then for a second, folks. I thought it had stopped working. It's just zoned in right close, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Nichols then with a the goal kick for Huddersfield Town. Oh, it's a poor kick, but they get away with it. It bounces off Rutter's head and goes straight to a Huddersfield defender who's just hooked it forward, but it'll be a throw into Leeds. Archie Gray to take. Archie goes back to Joe Rodon. Huddersfield still pressing. Here is Melier to Ampadu. Jack Rodoni pressing now from the front. It goes into Kamara. Kamara, man on you, mate. Back to Melier. Oh, it's going to go back to Melier. Danny Ward there pressing. But it's sent long by Mez. Oh, it's gone straight out of play. Nakayama's not going to be able to continue, folks. He's injured. Nakayama's tried, but unlike Somerville, he's not built a strong stuff. And I think Nakayama's going to have to get substituted. Just while we do, I'm just going to stick an advert there, folks, while we wait for this injury. I will stick... Some of you might not get it, actually. Some of you might not get it, so I'll continue talking. Um, but, yeah, Na Nakayama's down, um, so he'll uh, he's going to have to go off. So an early change, early change for them. Leeds lad said Bamford lazy. Where? Why? What? Um, I don't know where you get that. Um, yeah, some of you won't get them. Yeah, so he's going to have to go off here. I mean, I don't know why they haven't done this on the edge of the pitch. Like, why are we doing it here? Not everyone will, JB. It depends what you're watching on. It depends, you know, if you're premium and that. Just, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's only a slight pause, isn't it? Rutter not playing great. I mean, we've only just started, haven't we, if you think about it. I know it says 24 minutes, but there's been quite a few stoppages already, so I wouldn't be overly concerned. You know, sometimes Rutter's not on it, but then he'll turn on. Do you know what I mean? So Nakayama's looks like he's going to have to go off here, but I think they need to need to sort it now. But, yeah, listen, you bang on Martin Aru says, look, isn't it amusing that the Huddersfield player's been knackered by Hogg's dirty tackle? That's the thing. That is the thing. He's done that to his own man, hasn't he? That's a good save from Melier for both them uh, Rodoni chances, you know. Mez has been on point, JP. It doesn't fit the narrative for some, though. Isn't it his birthday? Is it his birthday? So Nakayama's going to have to go off. He has been subbed, folks. So it's going to be Michael Helick to come on. So Helix, come on for Nakayama. Yeah, Hog's always been like that, hasn't he? 
Listen, we've got over a thousand likes, folks. Big up to you all. Big up to you all, man. So on comes Helix. So we'll be back underway now, and it's a throw-in for Huddersfield. There's going to be quite a lot of added time in this first half. Been a few injuries, haven't there? His throwing's gone straight for a goal kick. Or maybe even another throw. I think it's another throw. But, yeah. So it's a throw-in. So it came in and then went straight back out. So it's a throw-in to Leeds United. Just in our own defensive half. Ampadu's going to go for the big throw. Go on, Ethan, son. Big throw. It's won by Helic, but he's put it straight out of play. So, I mean, Nakayama coming off Helic, coming on. They're like meat and potatoes defenders, aren't they? And they ain't got much about them in terms of playing out from the back with the likes of Tom Lees, Hogg, Helic. Just proper garbage. Throwing for Leeds on halfway. Furpo goes back to Ampadu. Here is Ilian Melier. Come on, there's Kamara dropping in. He's going to fire it out to the right, though. <laughs> Not great. In, bet in between Nonton and, uh, and Gray. That needs to improve if we're going to like in this game specifically, because it looks like they're going to continue to press, so he's going to have to find the button, isn't he? Anyway, it's going to be Spencer then for the throw for, for Huddersfield Town. He's, I think he's come out to left-back now with Helic. Or has Tom Lee's maybe gone in at right-back? I'm not too sure. So, no, so it looks like... Yeah, so it looks like Hogg's gone at right-back, or maybe it's Pearson, I'm not sure, but... Oh, Lampadu over the top for Bamford. Bamford's brought it down. Helic goes to engage. Yeah, defensively, that'll have knocked him all over the shop because I think, I don't know if it's Pearson's had to go in at right back, but Somerville should cook. Some Somerville should be nice. Gruyev, good feet. Well done, under pressure. It's time for Leeds United to start getting on the ball now and start playing some slick stuff for me. We've let them have the fun. Get in your bin. Rolled on. Nice. Into Rutter. Rutter held on to it a little bit too much, but Gray's giving him back. That's great football by them too, and Rutter's got round his man. Rutter's done really well there. Spencer having problems trying to get near him. Goes to Gray. Kamara. I do think that that, that injury to Nakayama could be really bad for them because I just think in the fullback areas now, they're going to struggle to compete. Whereas Nakayama's got a bit about him. Jack Rodoni can't place a five-yard pass, puts it straight out of play for Bergsorg and it'll be a throw into Leeds United. But I, d I do genuinely think this could be a bit of a catastrophic injury for them. Um, and obviously it's even more funny because Hogg did it. Do you know what I mean? The big stiff idiot. Here's Rodon. Rutter, nice little flick through to Nonto. Gives it back to Gray. Great great feet again. You can see Leeds United now starting to get on the ball. Just bounced off Rutter that time, but Gray's won it back. However, Bergzog's come out of it. Rutter goes back to win it. Well done, Gio. Well done, Rutter. He did lose it. Gives it Kamara. Kamara loved that little touch that he does. Hogg's got to watch himself, ref. Is that not a second yellow then? I hate Hogg. Man, he's trying to ref the game as though like he's done the foul because he's on the deck. Fuck. I can't stand him, man. He's like having a go at the ref as if to say, well, he's on the deck. Also, that means you can foul our man in the process, yeah? Can't stand him, man. Let's see what the chat's saying. Um, yeah, I don't know either, Vega, man. Come on, man. I mean, the chances that we've had have come through Nonto. I think you've been a little bit harsh, if I'm honest. Yeah, definitely. Do you reckon they're playing for this? I don't know if their manager would be about that, though. I'm not sure. I'm genuinely not sure. Yeah, there needs to be Ronnie. There needs to be something like that. I can't lie. 
So there's another injury here. Just while there's this injury break in play, I'm going to have to quickly run for a w w wee, folks, again. I'll be two minutes. I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. I ran as fast as I could. There we go. We're back. Here's Joe Rodon. 31 minutes on the clock. Joe Rodon into Gruyev. Gruyev out to Crease Somerville. Somerville hugging the touchline. Runs inside. Gives it to Furpo. The pass isn't the best though and it's cleared and it'll be a throw into Leeds United. There's the throw. Here goes Kamara. Kamara looks for a ball into Nonto. Great touch, Nonto. Should have hit it. Should have hit it, Nonto. Unlucky. Tried to lift it through to Bamford and uh, Tom Lee's chested it out. Did that other gadget have to go off? Or is he all right to continue? Oh, he's there, so he's all right. Tom Lee's just chests it out of play. It's going to be a corner ball to Leeds. So Somerville's going to be the one to whip this in. It's not a bad knock, that. Mm, nah. It was into a decent area, just Leeds United left this big gap and all as though they were going to attack it and no one did and Pearson just headed it out. Here's Somerville. Up against Sauber Thomas, good feet. Nice. Archie Gray on the edge, his touch isn't the best. Still got control of the ball, manages to flick it through, but the pass from Somerville sort of let him down, you know, he couldn't get a clean strike. Nonto wins the header. Pearson in the process takes him down. Is it going to be a free kick? I mean, Nonto screamed there like... I, I wonder if Pearson's going to get a card, but... No. But the way Nonto screamed, bloody hell. Let's have a look. Nah, he's just pushed him, hasn't he? Just pushed him. They are getting very, very dirty. Very dirty. Dutty gets. Nonto in the chest. Looks in pain. Yeah, not ideal, is it, Pearson? They're all doing it. Hog, Pearson. Just proper gash footballers that can't compete. That's all I'll say. Yeah, it was it was nasty from Pearson. Just basically pushed him straight in the rib cage, man. Dan James might have to warm up here, which isn't such a bad sub, is it? If we're being honest. Dan James is going to have to warm up. Yeah, straight in the rib cage. Never nice, is it? It's probably winded as well. But they are just being a little bit filthy for me. I'm not in the good sense. Do you know what I mean? Should be loads of injury time. Here's Somerville anyway. To put it in the box. Somerville, Furpo flicks it on, Bamford can't get it under his control and it's cleared. Oh no, what have you done, Kamara? Kamara's give it away to Sober Thomas, Sober Thomas is running at Gray, Gray's trying to cut down the angle, Archie Gray! 
Archie Gray, what a challenge from Archie Gray. Last man, last man, and he makes a vital challenge as Sauber Thomas was just about to pull the trigger. And across comes Ampadu, but Archie Gray, phenomenal defending because he was on his own. He had it all to do. Terrible pass from Kamara. Gets it all wrong. It's 2-1-1. -on -one. Sauber Thomas says, right, I'm going to try and get round you here. And Archie Gray with a phenomenal last-ditch challenge. And makes, yeah, that's vital, that is from Archie Gray. What a player. Vital. Text the ball with him. You shall not pass Gandalf settings. Lord of the Rings. My precious. There you go. Sauber Thomas with the corner then. Great challenge by Archie Gray. Get that hog away. Hmm. I've heard first hand is an arrogant as well, so don't don't surprise you looking at his face, does it? Go on, Nonto, get him, man. Go on, Nonto, son. Melier, great punch. Only as far as Sober Thomas though. Can he whip one back in? He has. Great header road on. Get it on the edge of your folks. Strike. That's a bad challenge, you know. Yellow card is all he gets. Kasumu should have already had one, by the way. Kasumu should have already had a yellow card. What defending that is. I think it's Ampadu. Oh, wow. No, it's Rodan. That's a bad challenge. He should already be on a yellow as well. They're just smashing us here. What's going on here, ref? Do you know what I mean? They're just coming to smash. I can't wait for us to score the dirty Dirty, dirty gits. Can't, they can't, do you know what I mean? They can't compete, so they've just said, do you know what, let's just hack them down. Can't wait for someone to smash them. Another foul. Dirty, dirty, horrible. Archie Gray to Nonto. Go on, Nonto, dust them up some. Gray, first time cross potentially. Blocked out. And it'll be a... Uh, It'll be a throw into Leeds, blocked by Tom Lees. Archie Gray into Gruyev. Bamford's going to make... Yeah, Bamford's made a move. Gruyev's got the ball. Goes into Ampadu. Here's Junior Furpo. Can Bamford drop in? Goes to Somerville, back to Furpo. Again, again, man! They've just kicked Somerville up in the air, Pierce, and he gets the yellow card now. Dirty, dirty. Oh, my, how's that not a red? How is that not a red? Oh, my God. No, there's nothing to do with it being feisted. They're just being dirty, horrible, scummy players. Let's not say this is a feisty. He's just fucking, basically, on his calf. Stood showing. Do you know what I mean? Ah, that's a red for me, you know. Because if that's on, on his shin, I'm fuming. It's a disgrace what's going on. Absolute disgrace, man. It's not football, is it? They should not... Honestly, the, the referee's having a stinker because Pearson could have gone, Hogg could have gone, and he's gifting out yellow cards, but someone needs to go, man. Dirty, horrible... I'm trying my best to, to... He is Bamford anyway. Go on, Bamford. Kill him. Oh, that's shit, Pat. Rodoni. Smash him, Pat. Yes. Yes. Smash him. Aaron Carter looking freak. Get away from Nonto, man. Dingies. Shut up, Rodoni. Wipe out and that Aaron Carter vibes. Wipe out. Can't believe they want to react from that. Let's have a look. Nonto's had a go, has he? Yeah, go on, Bamford. 
Oh, Nontos like ran into him. Nontos ran into him with his thigh. Shut up, man, with your blonde, horrible hair. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just because I'm follically challenged. It's not in the 90s, though, is it? Do you know what I mean? What are we doing here? I know these people were mullets and that, but dyeing your hair bleach blonde and having curtains. Come on now. Get a grip. Sorry for anyone who's got bleach blonde hair and curtains, but also get a grip. <laughs> Honestly, I'm fuming with this. Dirty, dirty. I'm really pissed with the Skycoms as well when he went, feisty Yorkshire Derby. No, dirty. There's some terrible challenges gone in. It's like, okay, we have a game plan, but if that's not working, we're just going to absolutely batter you. Do you know what I mean? His manager will be pleased with what he's seen so far. Fucking hell. Hampered him over the top for Bamford. Headed back to the keeper. Keeper will keep it in. Three minutes till half time. Just that one big chance for Leeds, really, that fell to Somerville in the first ten minutes. But listen, there's the goal kick from Nichols. Rodon easily wins that, as does Gruyev. Then Nonto, well done, Gruyev heads it to Rutter. Rutter, can he turn? Nonto, get there. Oh. Nonto nearly gets there. This is what I'm saying, Lee's and that. Once we get wrong side of them, they're done for. Listen, don't forget to smash the likes, folks. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, but please do smash a like. We've got 2,100 watching. He's great. Hatcher Gray comes inside. He is challenged, though. But it'll go back to Tom Lees. Huddersfield have played a triangle. Bloody hell. Are they feeling all right? Kasumu, nowhere to go. Gruyev with the challenge. They actually played a triangle, man. They must be like, what? We're ballers these days. <laughs> Sorry. Throw in Spencer with the throw Playing at left back now of course Healy at right back I think Rode on with a little push Another throw Rodoni to take That's well How are you going to you gonna take that throw there Aaron Carter When it needs to be back on halfway Tell you man Referee needs to be getting these yellows out second time, though, for some of these, I'm telling you. Any challenges? How many have they had? About four or five. Spencer with the throw again. Goes for Kasumu. Kasumu flicks it on there to Ward. Back to Kasumu. It's gone out of play. I'm just going to check these cards. One, two. Two! No. Oh, I need to refresh that because Hogs had one as well. Let's have a look. Three. They've had three. Kasumu, Hogg and Pearson. Oh, Nonto's had a bite now. Uh, look at Rodoni going like that. Why? Because you got fouled. Honestly, man. Who does this kid think? He I mean, I did pick him out beforehand, but he's like celebrated that foul gone. Come on to the to, to the fans. Like, what for? Calma, tranquillo. <laughs> Nonto's hurt himself in the process, though. But I think Nonto's got it in for this, uh, Rodoni. They're, they're having a little to and fro, it seems. There must have been words. But Sorba Thomas can deliver it, though. Big up to Michael Graham, who's just become a member. Big up Michael Graham. Good man. So you've got Helik in there, Hogg. Tom Lees. Decent delivery as well. Berg, Zog, sat on Melly, ain't it? Comes. What a save. Oh, they've scored. They've fucking scored. Can't believe that. It's a substitute as well. My God. Oh, no. We've seen this story before. I can't believe it. Oh, no. Helik has scored to make it 1-0 to Huddersfield. Bergsorg caused all sorts of problems with the set piece. He sort of stepped in on Melier. Then came out, in it came. He made a great save, Melier. 
on the line, but Helic was there to put it in. Dan James is getting ready, by the way. Let's have a look at this. So, Sauber Thomas, look, Bergzog caused the problems. It went into that area. It's a great save, but no one's reacting. No one's reacting. It's actually a great save from Hogg off the line, and then, yeah, Helic there. It's a really good save. Oh, no one's reacting apart from Helic, and it's 1-0 to Huddersfield. No one else tracking him in. It's 1-0. Undeserved. But here we go. Huddersfield's top scorer, fucking defender. This is what we're dealing with. We need to turn it on, though, now. Holy shit. I'm still not worried, though. I'm still not worried. I'm disappointed we didn't get that first goal, but... I don't know where, you know, Hinchcliffe talking about containing leads and all this BS, man. They've just been fucking dirty. Nonto back to Gray. Berg's all good challenge. It'll be a corner ball. <sighs> Nine minutes out of time, by the way, as well, folks. Nine minutes out of time in this. We just played two minutes of that, so still seven minutes left to go of this first half. Don't forget to like the videos, folks. If anyone's blaming Melier there, come on now. Please. Cross. Headed up in the air by Hogg. No, man. Referee's having a stinker. Jack says, seems I owe you 50p. Melier is not a fault there. What are we doing here? He made the save. He made the save, peeps. The defenders haven't reacted. 48 minutes. Huddersfield won. Here's the goal kick. Headed by Furport. Furpo flicks it over looking for Rutter. It's headed by Leeds. Gruyev. Kamara. Somerville tries to flick it round into Furpo's path. Oh, that's a red! No, don't you dare! Yellow! Oh, he's gone! Yes, Hog! You dirty, horrible bastard! He's he's purposely elbowed Junior Furpo in the face, you horrible man! How it wasn't a straight red. Shouldn't have even been a second yellow. It's a straight red. You are horrid. He's just gone bang straight in his face. Dirty, dirty git. Why is it? Why is the second yellow? It was a straight red. Look at the state of this. Watch this. Bang. You horrible. He knows what he's doing as well. Horrible man, look. He's taking a look and then goes bang. Horrible bastard, man. On a yellow, you fucking... I'm fuming. I'm sorry, I'm fuming with that. Why has he got a, why has he got a second yellow? Why? Has, sorry for the language, I'm sorry, by the way. Cause, but that is disgusting. Yeah, Andrew, I hear you swearing. I get it, I get it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, but that is horrible. Disgusting. I'm sorry for swearing. Should be a straight red. That's just really pissed me off. I'm sorry. I want to know why that wasn't a straight red. What are we doing here? Why has he got a second yellow? It's a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. But listen, all good now. now. Try players with 10 men. Good luck. Go on, Somerville. Go on, Somerville, lad. Somerville. Oh, he's still got it as well. Love that Cree. Moves it on now. Somerville. Bamford. Here's Gruyev. Nonto. Nonto in the box. Helik does really well. Just falls on the floor. It's not a free kick, Lee. It's not a free kick, referee, man. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry for, for swearing as well. No, because it was. It was bad, and I shouldn't have swore like that. 
but that was really bad. Really bad. shouldn't have sworn I feel bad but I was just so angry then man that was disgusting disgusting man and and the referee to give him a second yellow like what are you doing here it should be a red all day for Port to Somerville here's Somerville attack them now Leeds come on here's Rutter turn them on feel that injustice oh the pass to Somerville's really poor from Rutter they're not really cooking at the minute Leeds I'll, I'll say that for Port to Rutter Oh, that's a lovely knock. Ah, just a little bit too much on it. But yeah, for me, now you 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 feel the injustice, you know what I mean? And you say, come on, second half, we're going to show these. And I think Farker will get into them, trust me. I'm not, I'm still not concerned, as I say. Captain as well, horrible man. Because he's took a look, you see him look and then he's just gone bang. Rode on with the head, it's gone off. I can't imagine their new, new coach will be happy with it either, if I'm being totally honest. Seven minutes played of the nine added on. Another throw for Huddersfield. Here's Bergzorg. Bergzorg down in the left-hand corner. Do you know what? Gruyev did really well not to dive in. He's just thrown himself on the ground. He's just thrown himself on the ground, referee. Oh, God. Oh, no, man. You know when you start to get that realisation, you're like, oh, okay. It's going to be one of them, is it? It's going to be one of them. Oh, God. Oh, God. Another set piece. Sorba Thomas. Oh, God, please, Leeds. Rodoni. Berg's all good challenge, Rutter, but it will be a corner. Sorba Thomas, back post. I don't like that. Melier saved it. Please don't apologise for your passion. Yeah, no worries, mate. Thank you. I'm just aware that some people are younger and that that watch and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, Scottish Leeds fan gifted a membership. Big up to you, brother. Robert says, for, here's some money for the soap. Yeah, wash your mouth out. I'll wash your mouth out with you. <laughs> do, no one says that anymore, do they? No one says that anymore. I used to get that all the time when I was little. Not actually happened to me, but got told I would have it. Here's Kamara. Watch into Rutter. Rutter needs to start turning it on as well and coming to the party. Somerville in the box. Back to Rutter. Has a strike! Oh, it's just wide. Thought he'd found the corner then. Do you know what as well? These sort of games, you know when we, when we score? Because we will. And when we win the game, because we will. Right? It's just going to feel so much more because of how we, what we've had to deal with in that first 45. It's half time, by the way, folks. But let's get stuck into what you folks are saying. But it's been an absolute disgrace of a performance from um, from Huddersfield. They've just kicked the lumps out of us. I'm not having it in any other way, really. They've just been f dirty. Sky are buzzing, aren't they? Sky are loving it. I mean, I don't know why because it's been... It's not been a clinic that's been put on. They've just been dirty. I'd love to know what's been said. Um, Graham Smith says, the physical approach looked like it was getting the reward the horse wanted until it got the reward it deserved. 
but Leeds have got to play the second half so smartly. Um, yeah, feisty game. Leeds nowhere near our best. And Huddersfield... <laughs> I love that Ampadu. I love that from Ampadu. I'm just seeing the clip of Ampadu just la laughing in his laughing in his face and then he says, fuck off. Sorry, I've sworn again. Hog. Horrible. Um, yeah, anyway, let's move. Um, listen, we need to win this game now. We definitely need to, to win this game. Um, for sure. Let's see. Um... Yeah, Dan James potentially uh, at uh, at half time maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Let's get to st let's get stuck into some of your chat. Told you it was going to be seven one leads. Yeah, we'll wait and see. Um, really dirty team. Yeah, Droopy, really bad. Kamara off now. Nah, wouldn't bring Kamara off, mate. Not for me. Um. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Credit. Well, no, I'm not gonna Jack. I'm not gonna give him any credit because the way they played, they've been filthy. Yeah, that was a bad challenge, mate, wasn't it? It was basically down his calf. Uh, no excuses here for the second half. Definitely not, Jamie. You've got to win down to 10 men, I agree. Um, I think, you know, you've got Dan James who could cause problems for sure. Uh, who else have we got? We've even got Mateo Joseph. But I don't even think it's Bamford. I think the link between midfield and striker hasn't really been there, and that's on Rutter. There's no one to change Rutter for, but Rutter needs to come into the game for me. Um, definitely. Midfield needs changing. Well, we might see we might see Gruyev drop maybe and put um, but then yeah maybe Gray goes into midfield and Roberts comes in. Fair fair play. That could be a shout. Uh, midfield tempo too slow. <laughs> Discipline my arse should have been. It's yeah, it's brutal. Um, but yeah, we have still got forty five minutes and we're playing ten minutes. Um, uh, sorry, we're playing against ten men. Kamara off and road on is on Roberts on, yeah, potentially, yeah. I think I'd bring James on as well. Please do smash a like on the video if you're just joining us as well. It massively helps. Just want to see what else has been said out there. Um Adam Pope says after a guilt edge early opportunity, United haven't hit their stride in rough and bitty encounter. That's the thing as well. Some of the lad that strike early doors. And so did Kamara really. Kamara snatched it. If that goes in, it's a different game. Some senseless challenges sees Hogg red carded and Pearson lucky to not see likewise, but Leeds have to step up after failing to a set piece. That's the thing, they haven't really created anything um, out of, you know, um, they haven't really created anything in open play, sorry. So that needs to change um, from, from Leeds, but Huddersfield as well, like I said, just a set piece. It's frustrating when you concede just to a set piece. Um, Andrea, my good friend, Andrea Russo says, we're playing for the game. Uh, they want us to play, start, stop, nervous, need to be more aggressive and less passive. Match the pressure and be patient, not get dragged into a game of Russian confusion. Fair play. Uh, Phil Hay says stoppages haven't helped Leeds at all but equally they haven't been good enough on the ball when they've had it and wasted a huge early chance Helix goal separates the sides but Hogg's red card a potentially big moment that's the thing in it as well so this can easily flip and I, I'm still confident it will you know there's no reason to, to look at this now um, and think that you know when we can't get back into this game because we can we can definitely get in um, let's have a look what, what's being said. Nothing needs changing, says Old Git. Um, I'm not too sure, bro. I don't know. I think, J well, I think James is coming on because James was stripping off anyway. So I think we're going to see Dan James. So we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, Gunner says we need to step it up. I agree with that. Um, yeah, there is that direct play as well, especially, but it's going to be interesting now though, what their, their coach does because they're down to 10 men and one nil up. So we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Um, non to off James on says John Cooper. I think that's going to be the change, isn't it? Um, what else has been said? Uh, Locks. She'll punish them second half. Surely down to ten men. Don't know. It's a cliche, isn't it? Locks. But there's that saying, isn't there? Like sometimes it's harder to play against ten. I know that's a cliche, and it shouldn't be. But you hear what I'm saying, right? Um, but yeah, I agree with this. Plenty of gears, plenty of time. We'll win this comfortably. I hope you're right, bro. I hope you're right. Um, yeah, this is the thing. And it's not just him, right? So Pearson's on a yellow. Um, who else is on a yellow? Uh, the other centre midfielder, uh, 
I think it's um, Kasuma, yeah, Kasuma as well. Uh, Pearson Kasuma, so they've only got two, sorry, unless I've missed one. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, is they've only got two, so Kasuma and Pearson and Jonathan. To be honest, I can't believe Jonathan Hogg got a second yellow. How did he get a second yellow? It should have been a straight red and he should be out for three games. Now he's only going to get a one-game suspension. It's a disgrace what he's done there. It's proper targeted fair put. It's disgusting. I love Ampadu where he goes, yeah, 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 fuck off. Get gone. Um, let's have a look. Give it 15 minutes and make changes. Well, I think Dan James is going to come on. I do think that'll happen. But I, listen, yeah, this is the worry, isn't it, Jared? That they bunker down. If they bunker down, then it might be, it might be harsh for us. Uh, it, it could be tough for us, but we need to we need to be on it, man. We need to get the the boys on the ball and and see if we can create some chances for sure. Um, we had one for me clear cut chance that if we take in the other fifteen minutes, it's game over. But we didn't, you know. And uh, we might we might miss the, you know rude that chance early doors because if we do score it, it's it's game over. But yeah, big goal for them coming from a set piece as well. Um, Let's have a look what else has been said. I mean, Leonardo, we've seen him do it before. We've seen him do it before later in games. If we're still 1-0 later on, I'd expect him to do that. Um, but, yeah. What else being been said? Um, no, I disagree, Steve. It's coming at him at point blank, blank range. It's tough. It's coming at pace. It's coming with power. It's easy when everything slowed down saying he shouldn't have spilled it. It nearly went in through him anyway, so the fact he kept it off off the line, um, I don't think um, you you can pull him out for that. Some will, some will, but I I wouldn't personally. Um, and I don't think many are, to be honest. I don't think people are saying he's at fault for it, and if yeah, it's pure agenda. Um, Paul, he's not at fault for that, mate. He's made he's made two very good saves prior to that. Do you know what I mean? It's I think it's a bit wild. Uh, Hog is awful, yeah, definitely. Um. Yeah, thank you, Michael, exactly. He's already made two good saves, but... Yeah. No. Again, wrong for me, but... Yeah, more rugby than football, agreed. Um, it wasn't. It was a straight red, Stevie. He's elbowed him in the face, bro. Um, no, he hasn't, mate, but, and I still think he's carrying an ock pack on Mac. I, I think he's struggling in training and whatnot. Um, so yeah, um, is a draw a good point? No, no, definitely not. We need all three. Can't have points. Obviously, if I, if it was lose or a point, then obviously I take a point. But no, we need um, we need uh, we need to win this game. Thank you, Jamie. Big up. It is a good save. Imagine, imagine like five yards out, a full header, bang, coming at you, and these these people want you to catch it. That's not happening. All, all the keeper's doing there is parrying. The best he could do is maybe push it round the post, but again, it's from about five yards out, and it's bang. I think to think that he can catch that is insane. Um, he's made a good save, and again, much like the 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 goal where the, where it was crossed in, the defenders are napping, and it's always hard. Then it when defenders this way and the 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 forward plays. I know it's a defender, but the player attacking the ball's coming this way because they've got the momentum, right? So, yeah, like. You could maybe say Firpo didn't react as as quick as as, as Helic, but listen, it is one of them. It's it's a decent set piece. To be honest, Chateau's caused problems. It's it's Bergzog because Bergzog's in an offside position. He's in and he's out and he drops out and it goes straight to where he was and it's headed. And as I say, Melier's made a good save initially, and then obviously um, Helix quick to react and, and and put it in the back of the net for me. Um, yeah, this is this is the point, isn't it? Um, Let's have a look what else is um I don't even think it's that, bro. I don't even think I don't even think it's that it's just the reaction. It's not the marking. Unless the first header, I'd have to see that. I'd have to see that back. Um, to be honest. Um No, I hope you're wrong. I hope you're wrong, bro. Um Fair put Ah, oh, well they're just that's so wild if they actually believe that fact. <laughs> He, even if he didn't go down, he was going red. Even if he stood there and took the elbow to the face, he was still getting a yellow because he, he, any, the referee's in clean sight. His hog's come out and just gone. So even if he do not go down, it's nothing to do with how he's made a meal with it or all. But that's 
terrible from them if they're commentating on the game and saying that. Um, yeah, I agree. I agree as well. It was a shocker from Pearson. Um, I think you're going to get one with Dan James, to be honest. Wow, check that. Johnny Cooper's tweet. The ball's been in play for 22 minutes. 22 minutes. Like, this is... Yeah, the ball was only in play for 22 minutes and 33 seconds in the first half. Not surprisingly, the lowest in the first half of any Leeds United Championship match this season. So, yeah. MMA, someone's, someone said, Huddersfield going with a slightly unusual football MMA hybrid approach. Ref lost the plot, should be against eight or nine here. Yeah, I mean, they should have had a few. They should have had a few. And this is why as well, like, I know... I, listen, I know people will be frustrated and annoyed and we've not been great and all that sort of stuff. I think for me, they have played anti-football. It's shocking. And sometimes you have to go, I mean, you know, if, we, if it was to stay like how that first half's just gone, then I'm looking at the ref, I'm looking and saying, what more could we have fucking done, really? Because we've just been battered from pillar to post. But then it means, to be fair in response to myself, that means that some of these lads have to step up and give some back and say, okay, right, oh, if this is what we're going to do, then we'll, we'll match you. We'll match you, you know? Get rolled on kicking people up in the air and fecking and stuff because the referee can't be, can't be, you know... I mean, we've not even got a yellow, have we? But I... <laughs> Mad thing is, right, are you, I always... I always listen to footballers, ex-pros on their podcasts and that. I find it so interesting. Be it under the cosh, the non-league one, stick to football, the BBC one with Shearer and all that sort of stuff. And like, back in the day, and I don't know if it's the same now, I'd imagine, but you need an equaliser. So the fact that, that, that Somerville, Nonto, Firpo, Rutter, being kicked up in the air, someone needs to, if it's Kamara, if it's Gruyev, smash someone within the first five minutes. Stand over them, man. And be like, yeah, what? Do you know what I mean? Like, you need an equaliser. And I know that might sound a little bit archaic or whatever, but if they're taking the piss, then do it. Do you know what I mean? Because that's what they're doing. They've just targeted. They've targeted. They've targeted Somerville. That Pearson, I mean, his challenge on Somerville, where he's just smashed into the back of his calf with his studs, What? what's that about? He's not going for the ball. He's done it to say, all right, I'm going to drag my studs down the back of your calves here, mate, and leave you in pain. It's not a genuine attempt for the ball. Hogs, you know, he is... Sorry, no, that was the Redoni. Hogs purposely had a look over his shoulder, seen where he is and smashed him. He is the Leeds United's chance, look, early doors. Great football in the build-up to it as well. It's Kamara, he's got to hit it first time. What is he playing at? He's actually not it. He's passed it to Somerville. I thought he'd hit it. Here's the other chances, look. Somerville to Rutter. Oh, just wide, that Rutter chance, you know. Just wide. Tell you, man. Yeah, j Dog, he was, man. Terrible. Um, un uh, you, uh, Unless Melia turns it into Neo from the Matrix, he always... <laughs> Love that, Liam. It won't fit. I bet these people calling him out, you know. I know one person to check. Lord Ash, because he hates him. There's a few that do, but he's he's brutal for it. Big up Lord Ash, by the way. Let's see what he said. There's another change here for Huddersfield. No, he hasn't. There you go. So if he's not saying it, then... But Liam Moore says, unless Melier turns into Neo from the Matrix, the one. He has. He was always going to struggle keeping that out. Nine wins in a row and fans still have agendas. Exactly, Liam. Don't fit, does it? It don't fit. No changes, is there not? Oh, I thought James was getting ready. Yes, exactly, John. This is where we need to show different side to our game. Danny Ward, the strikers come off. On comes Alex Matos. Midfielder from Chelsea. They're packing out the midfield and just play with one up front now. We need to get the ball and start to punish them. We need to control that midfield. Camp on the edge of their box if we need to. So Matos has come on in midfield. Make sure you check out today's sponsor, as always. 
Uh, football prizes, link is in the description. Make sure you check out um, LUFC Lee as well for your virtual radio needs and all that jazz, folks. Um, here we go. We're getting ready now for the second half. I don't know what they've done there. But make sure you check out football prizes. No leads prize up at this moment in time, but watch out for my... Um, Twitter, because there'll be no doubt one released very soon. Jack Rodoni wins the header, but it'll be a throw into Leeds United. There's Nakayama there, who started. He's uh, got a knee brace on. Goes out wide here to Nonto. Nonto's going to run. I think they've gone like five at the back as well. It's going to be so tough for us, this, and ten men. You just can see it. If we can score early, then hopefully... Because Leeds will really want to win this game because of the way they've been manhandled and fouled and just dirty tactics, just horrible football. So hopefully Leeds United come out now with a with a bee in their bonnet and say, Do you know what? Okay, here we go. Here is Kamara. We've got to be quicker with the ball, though, that's for sure. Here is Kamara to Furpo. Movement from Somerville. Ah, the pass from Furpo into Bamford's not the best. And it's flicked out. And it's just Bergzorg leading the line now. So Bergzorg, like he did in that other game at Ellen Road, just leading the line. He was their only decent player that day. But yeah, they're definitely going to try and sit in and, and see if they can defend this. Here is Gruyev. Gruyev into Rutter. Nonto. Rutter keeps hold of it. Oh, he's beaten one. He's beaten two. Great feet, Rutter! Oh! Rutter's had a strike. I don't know if it took a deflection, but that's great feet from Gio. He's took like three players out of the game. Look at that. Cuts in on his left. It actually does take a deflection, and it's gone for a throw, in fact. It better have took a deflection, because if he's took that strike, I'll be raging. <laughs> I think it took a deflection. Please tell me it did. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> what the fuck? How did that happen? He's had a strike and he's gone for a throw, man. What the? What the hell? Somerville. Rutter, that is so bad, man. He can't. He's t Good ball, that. Oh, Nonto's tried to meet it first time. Good ball by Furpo as well. Kamara up against Matos. That'll be a good battle between them two. Get it out right. Get it out right. That's a foul. <laughs> Referee says no. What a terrible pass that is, though, by... Um, by uh, Kasumu um, and uh, Leeds United are back with the ball at their feet. This would be so disappointing if we dropped points here. I can't lie to you. So poor. Uh, Williams says, let down game, asleep in the first. Hopefully Farker woke them up at, at the half. Ten men, no excuses. Yeah, I wouldn't even say we were, we were asleep. I, I think, like I say, we've been unable to get into a rhythm due to the fact that they've... The ball was in play for 22 minutes. Out of four, you know, not even out of 45, folks. We had nine minutes at a time, so 51 minutes or whatever it is, and 54 minutes, sorry, and it was in, in play for 22. You can't play football if the ball's not in play. Do you know what I mean? So that seems to be the tactic. Well, it has. They've got another corner here. Sober Thomas with the delivery. Just shutting my door a minute because it's bloody cold. Sober Thomas delivery. Helic wins the header, but Archie Gray has a chance to clear it. Puts his left boot through it for Nonto to chase. There's Spencer. I don't know why he didn't go back to his keeper there. He hooked it back down the line, but. Throwing to Leeds United on halfway. Just don't let them have the ball, isn't it? 78 possession now for Leeds. It's like, don't let them have the ball so that they can, you know, kick it into channels and then go down when we challenge them and all that shit, you know? Ampadu out to Somerville. Somerville's going to Run at Rodoni. Somerville flicks it through. Keeper comes. Do we feel it's just going to be one of them folks? How's everyone feeling? It's only four minutes, so tranquil, your Joe. Calma. 
Great touch, Archie Gray. I do think that's a change, though. Is Archie Gray going into midfield and Roberts coming in at right back? I would be looking at Dan James as well. But then again, do you get the upside of Dan James against a low block? Here is Nonto now. Nonto running at the left back. And again, there's loads of space for Dan James to attack there, to be fair. Here's Gray to Gruyev. Gruyev square into Furpo. It's all a bit left to right, isn't it? Needs to be quicker. A little bit more incision. Some of us going to try beat Rodoni. Oh, he's tried to play it through to Bamford. Goes out to Furpole. Get that ball in the box now, Junior. Takes a deflection. It'll be a corner. That's what we need to do. You know, when that opportunity arises, Bamford's got the movement. If Matteo Joseph comes on, he's got the movement. So it's going to be a, uh, a corner ball. Leeds United fans rightfully nervous. I know I am as well, but... So Somerville to take this. Don't forget after this as well, folks, hopefully we win and it'll be even better. But we've got soccer Saturday. Uh, we'll be covering the 3pm games, Ipswich. Um, oh, they've taken it short. Leicester and Southampton. Here's Kamara. Nice. Gruyev. Gruyev to Somerville. Somerville. Back to Gruyev. Nonto, great football, Leeds United. He's on side, but he can't poke it through. And Kamara's brought Bergzog down. He's bought that one. It was a foul, but Bergzog just lent into his foot. Should have maybe done better or created something from that. I could see what they were trying to do, but it just didn't come off, did it? And Bergzog's just backed into... That's a good good centre-forward play, if you like. I know he's on the edge of the box, but it's a way of, right, Get draw the tackle. Let's get it out, you know? Just break it down. It's gone straight out of play, hasn't it? Furpo played it, whistle son. Ampadu sends it long. Kamara into midfield. Rutter, you have got acres. Oh, he's lifted it into Nonto. Nonto, he's not going to get there. Wrong ball, man. He had acres of space to turn. Why has it? I'm expecting Rutter to turn there, attack that space, then give it to Nonto. Yeah, d you know, I don't. He didn't need to do that, did he? Just, just hook it forward. I know it's worked in the past, but he had so much space, and you, Rutter's so dangerous when he's got space and can run at run at a defender, and then he can play Nonto, and who's isolating the fullback? You know what I mean? Oh, he's gone out of play again. It, I, it's so bitter. It's so stop-start. It's shit is what it is. Mm. Spencer taking his time with the throw. Rodon wins the header. Gray keeps it alive as well. Gruyev. Nice, Gruyev. Oh. Oh, Nonto's nutmegged Spencer, but then being brought down. Oh, get up, Willie. Get up, Willie, man, please. We're talking about them being physical, and you're throwing yourself to the ground, broski. We need to be physical back. <sighs> Let me see this. Oh, nah, man, nah. He's barely fucking touched him. I'm sorry. It's not as if he's just been elbowed in face like Furpo, is it? No. Well done. Rutter challenged by Matos. I think Matos is just sitting on Rutter now as well, which is going to be tough for him. Throw into Leeds. Take it quick. If you haven't already, folks... Smash a like on the video. We've got 1,300. Let's see if we can get to 1,500 likes, please. Please, please. Here's Ampadu. Somerville at Rodoni. Here's Furpo. Back to Somerville. Can he lift it up? Goes to Furpo. Get it out of your feet, Cree. Nice. Bamford. Shocking touch. Shocking touch. Ah. <sighs>
Fresh legs needed, people are saying already. 60 minutes, I think, maybe. Ten minutes played, though, and it's not really got going for Leeds. It's been the perfect game plan. I know they've been dirty in that, but they've got their goal now, haven't they? This is the thing. I think we're going to rue that missed chance in the first five minutes. If we score that, it's open season, but Bamford battling. Somerville, you've got to put yourself in there. Kamara brought down. No. Referee, you're going to blow your whistle. Am Ampadu got the ball, man! Look at him, man. I hate that Radoni, you know. Aaron Carter-looking thing. Free kick to Huddersfield. As flat as we've looked all season, make a change. I don't even think it's that, bro. Not been great, though. I'm not going to... Yeah, it's frustrating, as you can see. Are we just going to let him tie his laces? He's done about... He's done about seven knots. What are we doing here? He's taking the piss, man. He's done about seven knots there. Sauber Thomas, great knock. Headed out, though, by Rutter. And again by Bamford. Who's attacking that? Kasumu with the strike. Leeds players sort of let it bounce and let him have a shot. Rode on out to Nonto. It's too sideways, isn't it? We need some verticality, as my good friend Andrea would say. Great. Poor pass forward. Goes out of play for a goal kick. Maybe Wednesday's catching up. I'm not too sure. But, yeah. We need more verticality in the passes. Bounce around if you love the town and all that jazz. They're buzzing, aren't they? Sauber Thomas. Rodoni's going to chase it. Ampadu gets across. Oh, he's made it go for a corner. Leeds United. Nothing's, nothing's working for us. Nothing is working for us at all. When Ampadu's making errors, you know something's wrong. Not really got going at all in this second half, have we? 12 minutes played as well. Times are ticking. Times are ticking, Danielle. Corner ball. I do worry. Sauber Thomas. Great delivery. Helic. Header. Substitutes coming on, though, it seems. Sauber Thomas. It's a great knock. It's headed. Oh, just wide. Just wide there by Pearson, who shouldn't be on the pitch, by the way, if I speak. No one challenging him either, really. Too busy playing grabby-grabby with his shirt. Is Gruyev. Gruyev's not been great today by his standards at all. Rodon. Into Gruyev. Gray, we're getting a triple change, folks. Piro, Dan James. I'm not sure who the other one is. Connor Roberts, I think. So I think we'll see Archie go into midfield. Dan James on for Nonto. And Piro, I don't know. Maybe we'll go three at the back and just bring Furpo off as well. I'm not sure. Here's Nonto. Nonto cuts in. Pass the ball, Willie. Pass the ball, son. Pass the ball. Nah. Kamara's not the guy. He is Furpo. He's managed to find Somerville. Oh, it's crossed. A ball. No. 
It's flicked forward. Ah! Throwing for Leeds. 30 minutes left. Here is Somerville. Come on, quicker Leeds, please. A little bit of urgency, man. Somerville. Into Rutter. Rutter turns inside. Good feet from Gio. Oh, is it? Yes. Yes! Oh, my God. Kamara with a lovely little back heel flick through to Somerville, but somehow Huddersfield get away with it. And that's a good ball down the line for Bergzog to chase. Rodon comes across, though, as he always does. Gives it back to Mez. And Mez will just play it out to Ampadu. Nice, cool, calm, collected that from the goalkeeper and centre-backs. Here's Ampadu. Come on, then, Leeds. Goes out to Furpo. Give it to Somerville. Let him run with the ball. Not behind him, Junior, ideally. You know what I mean? Here's Rodoni. Up against Rodoni. Kamara's free. Rodoni makes the challenge. Now time for the changes, Daniel. Let's turn it up a bit. Let's turn up the heat in the kitchen. So you've got James Pirro and Roberts. Number eight. Kamara? Or it might be... Yeah, Kamara's coming off. I think that moves Archie into midfield. 20? Who's 20? Nonto? Oh, Gray's coming off. Gray, Nonto, and... Hmm. That's... So, Gray, Nonto, and Kamara. Roberts, James, and Pirro. I'm surprised Gray's come off, you know. Really surprised. Here's Dan James into Piro. Roberts, first touch for him. The subs combining well. James brought down, no foul. Matos takes it off him. See, Piro gets beaten too easy, man. Oh, he's fallen. Uh, <laughs> Matos! <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh because we're losing, but my man's ran with the ball that far that he fucking fall over. We're like, ah. <laughs> sorry, man. I thought he's going to head butt ground here. <laughs> Started to get a nosebleed, didn't he? <laughs> Gruyev. Gruyev runs through the centre of the park, tries to give it to Bamford. Pa terrible pass. Bamford, get up, man. Come on. Roberts to James. James gets there ahead of his man. Lees just flicks it into an area. Rutter's put Matos up in the air. Gets a yellow. Gets a yellow. Huddersfield fans cheer as though we've been like deserved of one. Nah. Just reading some of your comments, folks. Sorry. Just see what people are saying. Gruyev shit too. He's made wrong subs. We're going to lose Joe. Nah, there's still time yet. Don't worry. Don't worry. This this team's not let us down yet, has it? We could do with winning it, yeah, but at the end of the day, give me a point, <laughs> at least. <laughs> um, yeah, the downer man, yeah, yeah. We've not really got going, have we, at all, at any point? Apart from the first five minutes, I thought they, these are going to get smacked up. <sighs> Melo, yeah. To Gruyev. Furport. Just needs to be quicker. Rode on. Points won from behind, folks. Only Ipswich have bettered us. We've won 20 points from behind. Dan James to Piro. Piro's onside. Can he cut it back for Dan? He's tried to. Dan's got it. He's lifted it up. It was the right idea. What? He, Rutter, what the fuck are you doing, bro? I'm sorry, mate. What are you doing? The ball's still bouncing and you've just bloody rugby tackled him in mid-air. And don't give the referee a decision to even it up. That was so silly by Rutter. The ball's in the air, 50-50, and he's just gone bang and pushed him over. What's he doing, man? Thinks he's a goalkeeper for a second there. Especially when you consider Furpo had it on the edge of the box. So silly and cumbersome. And now Bamford's having a word with him. He's probably saying to him, mate, Come on, you're better than that. Oh, 
Gruyev wins the header. Firpo, good challenge on Rodoni. Nice. Ampadu flicks it into Somerville's path. Firpo, good football this. Really good football from Leeds. Nice. Love that. Come on then, Somerville. Give it to Junior. Oh, he's put too much on the pass, man. That was good football as well from Leeds. First bit of good football was seen all the half down the left-hand side. Rodon, Ampadu, Bamford, Somerville, Firpo all involved. The ball over from Somerville, just too much on it. Here's Nichols then. Oh, that's a bad challenge, no? No, it's gone out to Dan James though. Dan James now down the right hand flank. Dan James has a chance. Oh, he's tried to cross it. He could have attacked it. His pace is going to get him there though. Piro was just about to pull the trigger and then it was cleared. Gruyev, watch your back, mate. Ampadu, come on, Leeds, man. 25 minutes is a long time in football, though. Let's not forget we scored three in 10 against Leicester, but even still. And and listen, if we got three points from this game, again, it's another shot in the arm, isn't it? It's one of them where you're like, wow, like this was tough. They made it tough, but we still come through it. Come on, then. Somerville. Somerville up against Rodoni. Rodoni's had a good game. Oh, it's nice. It's into Bamford. Gruyev. Keep it moving, quick, crisp. Furpo. Dan James is still out. Oh, Ampadu nearly gave it to Bergzog there. Here's Dan James. Dan James, can he attack? He's give it into Roberts. Yes! Get the f in there! Paddy Bamford, baby, makes it one all! Come on now! Connor Roberts with the assist. Love that. Dan James into Roberts. A cross goal. Pirro misses it, but Bamford says, thank you very much. I'll put that in the back of the net. Borada. Get in, man. Now we go and win this game. Now we go and win this game and punish them. Punish them. Great ball by Connor Roberts, that is. Pirro's missed it, but Bamford's not. Pearson left for dead, great pass across goal from Connor Roberts, using that experience, Bamford gets in front of his man and makes it one all, get in, plenty time now for us to go and get the winner, us to go and get the winner, get in man, see what I'm saying, like, I was just saying before, saying how if we were to come through this with three points, it is huge considering how for 65 minutes, how poor we've been and how Huddersfield have played. They're now on 10 men. You know, they've been 10 men, but one all now. Come on. Let's kill them. Destroy them. Ampadu running into space. Look, they're all over the shop now. Huddersfield goes out to Dan James. Can we get a quick fire second? Ampadu's continued his run. Dan James shaping for a cross. It's well defended, but that will be a corner ball. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, like the video, folks. 1,349 likes on it. Let's get it up to 1,500. 22 minutes left. Performance, not great. But if we can come through this, it does not matter. Ampadu there running from deep all the way into the opposition box. Where, this is where our fitness tells. Dan James. It's not a bad knock, that. Ampadu back post. It's headed by a... Huddersfield defender, it'll be a throw-in. Punish them, innit, for, for, for the way that they they behaved, man, in that first half. Here's Somerville. Somerville up against Rodoni. He's got Pearson behind him as well, but he's beating him. He's beating Rodoni. Now goes out wide to Ro Roberts. Roberts gives it to Dan James. Beat him. Dan James, pace yards, gives it to Piro. Nice from Daniel. Give it him back. Tries to give it him back. Daniel will get there. No, he won't. It'll be a goal kick. How's the temperature in the chat now? How are we feeling, folks? Come on. Samuel says, come on, Leeds. You're making me nervous. You lot acted like we'd never gone a goal down before. Um, uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's go, Leeds. Come on. We need hats in the chat. Been a long time. Uh, old guard, apology, sat in force today. He scored one goal and that's it. So shut up and sit down. What were you on about? Katrina Bamford's the boy. Oh, why? Has people been hammering Bamford? He's had no service at all. At all. 
here's Gruyev into Piro. Piro tries to get it out to James. It's blocked, though, but only as far as Connor Roberts. Connor Roberts with the assist, by the way. That has to be another nod in uh, Farker's hat. Roberts has come on and impacted the game. Here's Sauber Thomas. Just one sec now. Oh, Piro tries to get through to James here. There's an attack by Leeds. It's a good challenge, actually, that really good challenge there by Spencer at left back for Huddersfield. And he's taking it on and give it to Sauber Thomas. That's good from Huddersfield. Sauber Thomas looking to switch the play out to Rodoni. Don't dive in, Pir uh, Firpo. Rodoni has to go back. 20 minutes for Leeds United to go get a winner. More than enough time. More than enough time. Rodon headed to Ampadu. Ampadu back to his keeper. Come on, Leeds United. It would be quality if we were to kill them. Beat them. I said 2-1 as well, didn't I, in my thing? Dan James. Dan James has looked very lively. He is Gruyev. Gru All you can hear is the Leeds fans now, if as you would expect. He is Somerville now. He's got Rodoni. It's a good cross. It's come back out to him with the block. Rodoni wins the challenge. It'll be a throw into Leeds United. Come on, Leeds. This is a real testament. If we if we were to you know if we get if we get three points, it's huge. Two changes coming now for Huddersfield. So Spencer, who's played well at full back, actually, he's come off maybe to get some fresh legs now with Dan James being on. So, Karoma, is it Karoma coming off? Yeah. Oh, coming on, sorry. Berg's all coming off as well. So, you've got Headley and Karoma coming on. I'm not sure on the positions. Might be trying to batten down the hatches, maybe. But he's got to have an outlet up top, hasn't he? He looks buzzing to come on him. I thought Berg's always played well, though. I don't mind him in the two games we've played against them, to be honest. I don't mind him at all. Junior Firpo then to take this throw for Leeds United with 18 minutes left on the clock. Joe Rodon into Ethan Ampadu. Ampadu then to Firpo. Here's Somerville turn. Can he have a go? At Pearson. Come on, keep keep the zip. Keep the pressure on. Quicker. He's just going to be batting down the hatches, in it? Here's Ampadu. Dan James is just staying free all the time over on that right-hand side. Here's Joel Pirro. Go on, Joel. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Have a go. Bamford's not happy with him, but I would have a go. I would have a go. Someone needs to, don't they? Bamford, look, well done, Pat. I'm just having a word, probably saying, no, nah, come on. We're just giving them the ball back. Bada, bada, bada. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do we think it'll still be 7 0? <laughs> Piro, Gruyev, Rutter. Rutter lifts it over. Oh, that'd have been a lovely ball. Just cut out at the last minute. Offside, apparently. There you go. Then offside. So not a lovely ball. Hey, God. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash a like on the video for me, folks. Now nah, we need Bamford's experience up there for me. For any, I think, anyway. Maybe last, I don't know, five minutes or something. But Free kicks, Paul goes all the way through to Melier. Here's Ampadu. Centre-back's basically playing on halfway currently for Leeds United. Blue, just two two walls of blue and white striped shirts. You just got to find that perfect pass. Them little triangles, quick, quick passing. There's Bamford. Goes back to Rodon, finds Ampadu and Leeds will have another go now. Bamford, Bamford. Oh, he's give it to Somerville. Somerville. Out on this side. Can he beat Radone? Gives it to Furpo. The pass isn't the best. Gives it back to Somerville. Get one in. 
There's Bamford. Tries to give it him back. Lees clears it. It'll be another corner ball. This is where we need to get something from a set piece. This is where Strout comes in. This is where Strout comes in. Not with his head, of course, but he always seems to pop up in the right place with set pieces. We need something like that. A shithouse goal ourselves. Do you know what I mean? A scrappy goal. One that shouldn't stand, but gets given. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Dan James. Cross. Oh! Oh, is it going to fall? Oh, it's hooked forward by Sorba Thomas, but it'll come down in the box. No foul leads. Connor Roberts keeps it alive. Goes out to R Rutter on the right-hand side. Roberts has continued his run. He's going to get it back. He's tried to cross, and that's going to be a goal kick. Fuck. It came off the Huddersfield player and then back off Roberts, which meant it's going to be a goal kick, and they'll take the time with this, won't they? Of course they will. Of course they will. Get your yellow cards out, ref. Get your yellow card out. Keeper's gone long. Gruyev wins the header. Rutter. Rutter to Somerville. Has he put too much on it? Somerville. Bamford's in the box. And ball potentially no. It's flicked out, and it'll go for a throw into Leeds United. <clears throat> Furpo to Ampadu. Ampadu then into Rodon. They're not even playing on halfway now, the centre-backs. They're in the final third, man. Somerville. Somerville cuts in on his right. It's a lovely ball towards the back post. But it's gone straight on through for a goal kick. For fuck's sake, man. The camera's gone really dark. 13 minutes left and, and any added time on top of that as well, folks. We've got 1,447 likes, so not too far from 15k. So, uh, no, sorry, 1,500. So if you could, um, yeah, smash a like on the video. Goalkeeper then to take this Nichols with the goal kick. Up goes Rutter. Headed out by Tom Lees and then flicked on by the Huddersfield frontman Karoma, but it goes straight through to Melier. Leeds will come again now. Time is of the essence, Leeds. He has rode on. Nice. Come on then, Ampadu. Over halfway. Ampadu will carry it into the space. Ah, he's running to a cul-de-sac there and had to go back to Furpo. But here's Somerville. He's getting doubled up on by Rodoni and Pierce. And every single time, Furpo to support. Furpo, whippy, whippy. Gives it back to Somerville. Furpo, whippy, whippy. Decent. Oh, just getting a vital block on it. Ampadu will keep it alive. <clears throat> Goes back to Gruyev. Nice little touch from Gruyev. That doesn't really attack the space that Ampadu does, does he? What's the difference between the two? Here's Furport. Ampadu still James out there. Look, still James out there. Furport Bamford. Furport again, but Ampadu takes it instead. Here's Somerville. Oh, he's tried to nutmeg and give it Furpo. Right idea. Not a bad knock. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's not going to happen, folks. Oh, no, man. Ten minutes left. Is it a corner ball? Boys, give a corner. Referees, give a corner. It's not going to happen, is it? Oh, no. Oh, God. Ye of little faith, Joe, hopefully. Ye of little faith. Eh? Corner ball, then. Dan James to take it. Yes! Oh, it's headed over by um, uh, Rodon or Rutter. He's up too early, isn't he, Rutter? Yeah, he's up, he's up far too early. Needs to go down, not up. It's not a bad knock from James. 
should do better. Should at least hit the target, I think, there, Rutter, if I'm honest. Oh, God. Keeper Nichols. Ten minutes left plus any added time. Time is running out. Piro hooked forward by Rodon, sent back his way. He'll win the header. And Piro there. Roberts, be careful, Roberts. Probably a foul ref, no. Gives it to Furpo. Come on, then. Give it give it Somerville while he's isolated Pearson because Rodoni keeps and he can't get through because they're both there. Go on, Somerville, son. Oh, he's carried it into the box. Love this from Cree. Love this. Oh, it takes a deflection. <laughs> I thought it was one of them. It'd take the deflection and end up in the back of the net, but it doesn't. But it goes for a corner to Leeds United, though. So happy days. Come on. Come on, Leeds. Come on, Dan. Dan James, in swinger. Bit too close to the keeper, that. Yeah, I thought so. Keeper punches it. How's that a foul? I hate that, me. Keepers are overprotected, man. He's hurt his back. Oh, yeah, I'm down now. That'll be him for five minutes. Piss take. He's just punched it well. Like, why has he gone down? Show me. Is he heck, man? There's no up with him, look. Nothing up with him at all. He's holding his fucking ass. He ain't even gone. He, he's gone for it. Look. Watch where he holds his back. Look. No, yeah, not even on that cheek. That, he, that, that cheek didn't even hit floor. He's full of shit. Don't forget to smash a like, folks. Please, if you can, smash a like on the video. We've got about nine more people for 1,500. Um, Steve says the cracks were showing at Leicester and Chelsea. I don't know what you're talking about. Genuinely don't know what you're talking about. What cracks were seen at Chelsea? What cracks were seen at Chelsea? <laughs> It's mental, that. It's proper mental. We dominated a Premier League side. What crack's he on about? Such wild takes, but some people just bathe in negativity. They're bathing it. Ampadu's clearance, not great. Comes off Furpo, Rodoni. Leeds have done well there. Piro out to Connor Roberts. Piro, man. Dog dirt. He's dog dirt. Rodon's done well. Right, Piro, you've got loads of space. Now, get it right. Well done. Somerville, go on. Isolate Pearson before Rodoni gets there. Somerville. Oh, he's tried to clip on through. Piro, oh, he's lost it, man. He's dog dirty, man. I'm sorry. 12 million of absolute dog shite. He's not great, is he? At all. So cumbersome. So slow. When you consider what else is in the front line. Right, here's Rutter. Picking it up on the right-hand side. Like I say, if we get three points from this, it'd be huge. Roberts to Ampadu. Ampadu can attack the space now. Furport. Passing to Summer. There is Somerville. Nice. Piro. Gives it to Somerville. Somerville can't get through there, can he? For feck's sake. Rodoni. Hooked forward. Ah. Ah. Six minutes left. It's all coming down the left, though, isn't it? We need to switch it up a little bit, I think. Do you know what I mean? Dan James has been brought on, and we ain't given him the ball once. All just down the left. Here's Roberts. Roberts to Ampadu. Ampadu's played a ball into Piro. Piro's flicked it to Roberts. Can someone give it to Daniel? Please. Ampadu. 
Furpo, get it in. Get it in. Cross. Oh, Bamford. <coughs> Daniel might as well not come on. you got a player there so direct. Give him the fecking ball. Pirro. Oh, he should... Go on, Furpo! Go on, some of you! Oh, he's in the post! He's in the post! Oh, no! Somerville's hit the post. I thought he was bending in. He's done so well to fashion a shot. Furpo, great pass, and Somerville's gone. Touch, touch. Find the angle, bang. Oh, no. What's my man saying? He's going for power over position. He's gone for power over precision. What are you on about? It's a bit of both, isn't it? Inchcliffe don't know what he is talking about, man. Furpo off. On comes Anthony. Attack, 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 isn't it, at this point? Attack, attack, attack. Hampadu, big challenge there. It's going to be a throw in to, to, um, to Huddersfield. Someone say we've bottled it. <laughs> oh, man, the, the, the outrage is going to be insane, isn't it? Yeah, goal kick. Did not touch Antony. I don't know what other time's going to be, but this is brutal. They'll be buzzing with a one all, you know. Absolutely buzzing, by the way. Buzzing. Oh, this is horrible after winning that. Nah, not to these as well. Come on, Leeds. Please, man. Please. <laughs> Ampadu. Go on then. Why are we not giving it? Daniel! Here we go. Daniel James. To Roberts. Back out to Piro. Come on then, Leeds. Please, man. Here's Jaden Anthony. He has a chance to run. It's across. Dan James. Oh, it's fallen. Someone attack the ball. If you get cleaned out, man, it's a peno. Somerville again here. They're tripling up on him. Trying not to let him have a shot. Get it clipped out wide. There we go, Roberts. Two minutes left, plus any added time, folks. Please, Leeds. Ampadu. Here's Somerville picking it up in central. Oh, Rutter. Well done, Rutter. Still got hold of it. Didn't look great. Dan James, who's come out onto the left now. Dan James, cross. That's a good knock. It's punched out, though, by the goalkeeper. And Rodon will get there ahead of Sober, Sober Thomas and has done exceptionally well. Here's Pat Bamford. Bamford to Gruyev. Come on, Leeds. Keep the ball moving quicker, quicker. We're into last minute plus any added time. Time is running out. Piro moves it out to Daniel James. We, can, we know he can deliver. Piro, get in there. Oh, that is terrible. That is terrible from Daniel. He's hit it with his left foot. and it. I mean, he's looking for a player to come across, in he, but... That's terrible. He's basically passed it into the keeper. I'm surprised the keeper hasn't gone down with a light broken neck or something at this stage. Andre Brighton, Rhino with his stony on. Get your badge in, bro. <clears throat> David versus good lie off. Big header by Ampadu. Get up, Anthony. Why are you getting beat in the air there? Twice. Come on. Heroic point. They just kicked lumps out of us for 45 minutes. Mm. 
Anthony, is it out? This is how it's going to end, isn't it? Horrid, just throw-ins down at our end. Well, it's horrible. It's been a horrible game. Six minutes. Six minutes. Please, Leeds. Six minutes. Rodoni, Gruyev to Somerville. Quick attacks, please. Piro, win the ball, will you? Oh, nah. Nah. Clear, Jaden. Don't do out stupid with it. Six minutes, man. Ampadu took all back. Five and a half minutes left. Piro out wide to James. James, just to, just kick and run, bro. Oh, he's got it as well. He's got it. He's got it as Daniel on the edge. On the edge. Pass the ball on the edge. He could have got a ball through there. There was Somerville and Jaden Anthony waiting on the edge in acres of space. Acres. Oh, I'm being harsh, but I just, there was an opportunity there. Dan James then cross. In it comes. Yes. Oh, it's missed everyone. Somerville, go on, son. Oh, Tom Lees clears it. Fuck. Throw in for Leeds. Helic, the goal scorer. So he was always going to struggle to get one through there. Helic just used his chest. Leeds are coming again now. I'd love to... To score so late on here, honestly, I swear to God, Kevin Keegan, I will love it. I will love it. Somerville. There's Jaden Anthony then. They're looking for something, aren't they? Ampadu. Ampadu into Piro. Piro has to go back to Roberts. Here's Dan James. Dan James back to Piro. Lift it. Oh, you know, almost gets Jaden Anthony in at the back post. He's brought down, ref. Yes, referee says foul. Did think so. Quickly, Leeds, quickly. Ampadu takes it quick. Here is Jaden Anthony up against Rodoni. Jaden Anthony with four minutes left on the clock. Tries too much. Tries too much. I don't know what he was trying. He j oh, they're tackling each other now. God's sake. Don't you dare, man. Imagine this. Oh, no! Nah! Jaden Anthony brings him down. Stupid, stupid decision there to make a foul. Why do players do this? God, man. You're just giving him a chance to take the time and also bang it in the mix, or? Andre Brighton, Reiner wants them all in there. If they scored from this now... You don't give them this opportunity in the dying embers of the game to take a free kick from that position. Stay on your feet, you know what I mean? He's not going anywhere. That's a great knock. That is a fucking great knock. It's headed out. Dan James, chance. Come on then. Bamford. Oh, great feet. He's brought down. Ah, that was great feet as well. Cynical foul. But he's got to take it there. Two minutes left. It's going to be one all in it. Oh, God. Bamford did ever so well initially. Here's Leeds United and Jaden Anthony. Somerville's run ahead of him. Don't give it him, man. Come inside. This is Somerville FC this second half. It's not a bad knock, that. Force the header to... Force the defender to make a header. Here's Connor Roberts. Connor Roberts has sold it short. But James has still got it. Oh, he almost gets it through back to Rodon. But Huddersfield are going to have the last attack of the game, I think. Sober Thomas, we need to make a challenge and go. Oh, I've resigned now. I mean, a minute and a half left. Right, they've they've kicked it out of play. This is it. Minute and a half left. Leeds United need to be quick. Rod Roberts to take. Roberts' throw's gone long. Rutter's going to get there. Who's he going to be joined in the attack with? I'll just take them all on. <laughs> Piro wants it on the edge. That ball is terrible. 
It's bouncing. Somerville, touch back to Ampadu. Ampadu, come on, quicker lead. You've got a minute left, man. Please. Yes, Dan James. Rutter. Bamford! Ah, oh, that is shite. Is it a deflection? Nah. Minute left. Game over, man. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Nah, he needs to go. Go to goal. Points dropped, man. No. No. Huge point for Huddersfield. Huge point. Oh, no, nah, I didn't expect it. Said it'd be tough. But, yeah, that's got to be it now. I think 10 seconds left. Points better than note, folks. Oh, God, it might only be none. Sober Thomas. Don't you dare. Great block. Corner ball. Blow your whistle, ref. Blow your whistle. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Can't deal with this. Imagine. Get them bouncing around if they love the town and that. They'll go mad here if they were to score this. I couldn't cope. Don't. Sober Thomas. Oh, Melia. Good punch. There you go. It's one all. Fuck. Just got kicked lumps out of us, didn't we? Lumps kicked out of us for fucking 45 minutes and then... It was, um, yeah, not great, folks. Not great. Um, I don't even, I don't even want to say. Um, no, Matteo, no bloody imagination. What do you mean, man? Bamford scored the goal, bro. Um, I think. No, Bradley at all. No, not at all. No, that's what. So you think, so 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 you think if Matteo Joseph comes, we somehow win the game. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's too easy to say that. Um, yeah, maybe this could have Paco Maka. They may, yeah, there may be something in that. I think Gruyev isn't as forward thinking. I think maybe if we'd have brought Robertson at right back and put Gray into midfield, I think that could have worked. But we don't know what Gray's like in terms of his his fitness. Obviously, having played in midfield. For whatever reason, he didn't make that change. Um, this is a wild take, St. Definitely not. No, not many keepers would be able to would be able to um, not parry that at that at that time. Um, it's a good. It's a great result um, for Huddersfield. It is a fantastic result. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I think H is here a bit flat, a bit flat today. Not not the best performance. Um, Look, I think do, <laughs> I don't want to rewrite history because there was a there was a definite chance that Leeds United could have gone undefeated. Well, we still are undefeated, but I mean, win every game definitely because we've got the quality to do it. Today we were on the races, though. You could say, yeah, midweek against Chelsea played a part, but we we changed a lot. We changed a lot. I just think today in the first half, Leeds didn't didn't come to the party. I think if Somerville scores that chance in the first five minutes, then it's a different game. Um, you know, we, we run away with it. They rid their luck in that respect and come away with, with a, a well-earned point, a well-earned point, because when they went down to 10 men in the first half, you're thinking, OK, let's turn it on. If you think about how many chances we created as well, there wasn't many. Um, so at least when we did, we, we converted it. It's a point. Um, it's not the best of points. Like I say, if Ipswich win today, that moves them ahead of us in the table. Um, so that's, that's yeah, d definitely frustrated. Um, but what, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else to say, really. It's, it's really tough. Um, I think, I genuinely feel that that first half screwed us. Just because they got kicked lumps out of, but you've got to then, you've got to stand up to that. This is the championship. This is a derby. This is Huddersfield's 
Cup final. And, um, you know, they came they came to, to play. You know, they came to have a go and Leeds United in the first half didn't. You know, um, so, yeah, Kieran, Kieran, like he says, Man City sometimes struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's harsh as well, laughing jester to say we don't deserve the Prem if we can't beat 10 man Huddersfield. These things happen. You know what I mean? Um, Chris says, is Melia the biggest donor to this channel or something? W why? Why though? Because he's not at fault and I don't agree with you. So because I don't agree with you, that he somehow donates. He's not at fault. And if you wanna if you wanna say he's at fault, then take away the two mint saves that he made earlier on in the game. He kept us in the game. Stop with your narrative. Melier did well. He wasn't at fault today. He wasn't. And if someone just said there, look, I agree, Melier's shy. I don't. But he says um the that, that he wasn't at fault. Yeah, I've got the Crocs on, Jane. I've got the Crocs on. Um, so yeah, and 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 just in response to the uh, Bradley, um, I am r answering it, Bradley. I am answering it now, bro. I've just seen it, bro. You've got to give me time. Um, yeah, listen. What you're gonna do? Just throw him on for five minutes. Who you, who are you taking off? Listen, there is a real uh, in the in the fan base to be like right. Got to play him now. No, he needs time. He scored two midweek against Chelsea. I don't think that was the time to... You're just throwing the dice. You're just throwing the dice. And okay, yeah, you might throw the dice, but he he had Bamford on the pitch. And ba I would rather have Bamford on the pitch than, than uh, Joseph. Do you know what I mean? You can't... So if your whole angle is we've lost that game because he didn't bring on jo Joseph, so therefore it's it's um, Farker's fault. He's BS, isn't it? Yeah, but not not where not where he'll have played him though. Mateo Joseph can't play that role that Piro was playing. Listen, I've said to you like Piro, not good, not good. Um, but yeah. Um, Why are you shouting, Chris? Just because you dislike Melia. Of course he does stuff wrong. Yeah. But he didn't do out wrong today. And you're saying he did. So, of course, I'm going to defend him. Do you know what I mean? So, I know, Paul. I know. I know. Um, I just think in the second half as well, we were all left-wing FC. Do you know what I mean? We We didn't even use Dan James. Which was frustrating, you know. Um, he came on, and there were so many times he was out there, and and we just didn't use him, did not use him. Um, no, if you think if you think Joseph could have come in the ten mark, then you're wrong, Broski. Come on. Um, yeah, I don't think Cree's been at his best for a while. I don't think, to be honest, mate. Um, and I think, yeah, look, I think the decision that I'm bemoaning the most um, is is to to play Gray in midfield. I think that would have been better. I think that would have been better to play Gray in midfield because Gruyev wasn't great today either. Well, why do you think he didn't do that then, Bradley? Why do you think he didn't do that? I just... Why do you think he didn't do it? You know, start Joseph, not Cree. That's that's wild. Come on now, um, yeah. We'll have to we'll have to we'll have to ask him, or he may be asked why it was. But yeah, th Richard, I agree with this, bro. Like they dragged us down to their level. I don't think there were many. There, there wasn't a good performance from Leeds today, if we're being totally honest. Do you know what I mean, Andreas? But we we have to. We have to have a little bit of um, realism and context. and We can't win every game. We've gone to Huddersfield. We got kick lumps out of. We didn't, we didn't meet fire with fire. We allowed them to, you know, drag us down to their level, in my opinion. <coughs> Sorry. And, yeah, like in the second half, it was... It was it wasn't great. It wasn't great. We couldn't break them down. Um, 
if if you're a Huddersfield fan, I can't give you credit for the first half. I can't because all you did was kick shit out of Leeds. Like that for me wasn't football. It was anti football. You had the foot you had the football in the first half in for about twenty two minutes of a fifty four minute half or whatever it was. So less than half of the ball was in play. I'm not Listen, I, I thought you'd be better in terms of playing football than you were. And maybe because you went down to 10 men, he had to change that and batten down the hatches. But the second half was all leads, but we created nothing. It came back to that thing of we couldn't break down a low block. I'm surprised we even scored, in all in all honesty, uh, I've been have. But in terms of giving you credit, I cannot, mate, because... And it's not being salty, but in that first minute, uh, first half, all you did was kick. That's all you did was to stop play and rough fouls. And I know, listen, it's football, and if the referee's not going to check it, that's fine. I think it's a joke that Hogg only got a second yellow. How's that not a straight red? So I failed to give you credit when, you know, yeah, okay, you defended for your lives and that in the second half, but we didn't really create anything. It was more so Leeds were pish than Huddersfield were great, in my opinion. And that's not me being salty. Yeah, I agree. Um, he was poor. As was DFG, there wasn't no no pace to 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 the play at all. Um, I mean, I think it's I think it's harsh because obviously he nearly scored. He hit the post with it, um, but yeah, we did we did come on um, a little bit. Um, we did become a little bit some of LFC. It was a bit like Jesse Marsh when we used to give the ball to Nonto a little bit. Do you know what I mean? And we just became Nonto FC. Um. Yeah, yeah, and I made that comment, didn't I, at, at half time to Locke, saying, you know what it's like. Sometimes they say it's harder to play against ten men. Um, and that proved to be the case in a sense, uh, because they were not willing to come out at all. Bergzog ran himself into the ground, then he was changed, and the other lad I don't think touched the ball. It was literally attack versus defence, and tonight we just couldn't break down the low block. But I'm glad we didn't lose. I will say that much. I didn't. I didn't see the goal coming. I did not see the goal coming. I don't at all. So the fact that we got away with a point, we move. You know, it's not a loss. Um, like yeah, I am Seb Williams says nine wins, one draw, ten unbeaten. That's still great. We have um, we have Stoke next. We have to we have to get back to winning ways. You know, we we have to get back to winning ways. I think it's unfair to say this MB7 when we've just won nine on the spin. I think it's unfair to say that when you've got Somerville, you've got Nonto, you've got Rutter. Rutter was rubbish today, by the way. Rutter was poor today. Did not do anything at all. Surprised Sky ain't giving him the man of the match. Um, yeah, and, and do you know what it is as well, Stephen? That he just got doubled up on. He just got doubled up on by Radoni and uh, Pearson and he couldn't get through. And then we were so slow that when he was isolating Pierce, and by the time we passed him the ball, Rodoni was there again. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so not great. Um, 22, yeah, that's terrible, in it, really? But we got a point. Um, sorry I'm late. 1-1 after all that, really. Yeah, one all down to 10 men as well. Yeah, this is the point, isn't it, David? We... I can't remember a, a clear-cut chance apart from that in the first five minutes and outside of the goal, of course. But even that wasn't as clear-cut as the fecking one we missed in the first five minutes. If we score in the first five minutes, it's curtains. And I think... I thought Kamara took a shot, but he actually plays it to Somerville and Somerville misses. Now, Somerville's got to score. But what I will say is Kamara should have put his laces through it and made it 1-0. It's a lovely pass from, from Nonto. And okay, if it comes off, Somerville's just passing it into the net. But he should have hit it. I don't know why he's took them touches. The bright lights, man. If I'm Listen, I'm not, I was a defender, but if I'm getting played in there from Nonto, it's going in the back of the net. I'm putting my foot through it. But yeah, it was cute. It was nice. He squared it to some of the... But then Somerville's got to score as well. They did not batter as first half Yorkshireman. They battered as in terms of kicking us. I don't know what you. I don't know what. Why would I listen? I would tell you. I'm not. I'm not in the business of lying. 
I'm not in the business of saying we were great. I'm not saying that. They didn't batter us. I don't know where you... What game were you watching? They did not batter us. That's wild. They kicked the shit out of us. I'll give you that much. If you're talking about the physical sense, i.e. they battered us, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. I, think, I don't think anyone said they were poor either. That didn't come out of my mouth. You've made that bit up. Um, yeah, Stoke at home must win. Um, um, nah, I, I'd still, I'd still start with Archie, mate. Unless Archie's going to play in midfield uh, for me, Bradley. Um, he's he's got an assist, but he wasn't great against Chelsea. But yeah, he's come off the bench now and impacted the games for sure. Um, Another Yorkshire derby next Friday. That won't be easy either, by the way. They're in good form. Um, definitely, they're in good form. See what else has been instead. Should have stuck Darlow in midfield. Yeah, 11 more cup finals. As Stevie says, 11 more cup finals. We all drop points, exactly. We've seen that of recent, of re recently. Football humbles you. We have to enjoy the ride. We took a point and the sky is still white, blue and yellow. Exactly, Jeremy. We moved up. That's, that's the point. We've... We've still got a point. We've still got a point. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't disagree, Bradley. I don't disagree with you, mate. Um, don't disagree. Was expecting another first half dissection of Hood. I, I agree with that. With that puppy name, does with, with, with the chance in the first five, yeah, I thought we were there. But um, yeah, exactly, Mr. Dodo. It's wild. It's wild. There'll be some content out there for you, you know, calling everyone. I'm I'm telling you, just watch it. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, we live in hope, Jamie. And and, and listen, straight after, after this, folks, I'll be live doing Soccer Saturday, and then we'll have a post-match at uh, 5 p.m. Um, so, yeah, make sure you join us tonight. Um, we can... Uh, or join us today, uh, three o'clock. So straight after this, you'll go straight on over. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna split screen my screen so we can have all three games on, um, so we can follow them and hopefully they go our way, right? Hopefully they go our way. But if Ipswich win, obviously Ipswich will move into two third. Um, yeah, no, yeah, of course they do. I don't, I don't. I hope you didn't think that I didn't say, like, of course you do, man. You can say what you want. It's a free country, isn't it? Um, one second. Let me just put this up. Uh, so you can see here, Leeds are in second with a point. Um, but, you know, Ipswich, if they win today, they move above us. And Southampton would be still three points behind us if they win today. Um, obviously, it is a five-point cushion now for Leicester if they win title over, I think, already. <laughs> Um, we at least we had a title race for a, a week. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Listen, Stevie, if people are banging Lord Bamford, uh, or if anyone's having a go at Bamford, I don't know what for. Uh, I don't know what more he could have done. In in all honesty, I think he played well today. Uh, he scored a goal today. Um, if he hadn't scored a goal, it'd have been even worse. Trust me. But um, yeah, let's see what some of the uh, ITKs are saying. Um, let's have a look. Um, If you can't win, you don't lose. Still unbeaten in the league, 2024. That's 28 points from the last 30. Exactly. This is the point, isn't it? Like, what we have to remember, before anyone loses their heads, if I'd have said to you at the start of January, you'll get 28 points out of 30, you'd have snapped my hands off. Snapped my hands off. Um, Adam Pope says, a tough old slug in which United never really fired. Knocked off stride in first half, but should have won it. It's another away point. It means United remain unbeaten in the league this year. Crack on versus Stoke. Exactly, and we're at home against Stoke. And I do think that 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 first half really, really shook Leeds, and they didn't stand up to it. You know, we got kicked all over. I remember Bielsa's Leeds going to Millwall once and being shit in it, getting off the bus, and Darren, stop. Stop. Stop, man. How? Stop. You're on the wind-up, surely. Um... Beren says, definitely some merit in battling back for the point. That was a horrible game that wasn't going their way at all. Battle back for the point. Uh, that could still be vital come May. Exactly. Um, 
My good friend Ethan online says, quite a bad game, but it is what it is. Bound to drop points eventually, exactly. Wasn't to be today, but we move, don't we? You know? We get a point. That's the point. The point is we get a point. You know? No one was on it today. No one had a good performance today. Um, but, yeah. We got a point. I do agree with this, Michael. Like... He's so annoying, so frustrating. He doesn't fit our system at all. And I don't think he ever will. Um, so we're moving it. We move. Listen, seven minutes time. We'll be live for the 3 p.m. kickoffs. You will be redirected straight over there now. So don't go anywhere. I'm just going to run for the toilet and then I'll hit live and we'll get them games on at three o'clock. And then remember, we've got um, five o'clock. Um, we'll have the post-match reaction to this game where we can dissect it with some other Leeds fans. Thanks always for watching. I'll see you on the other side, peeps. Love you all.